Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome hey. to Marky Gaming. Everyone's in a weird mood today, apparently. It's going to be a good day. Um, no, we're excited for Beacon Zora. We're excited for Beacon Zora, yes. And hopefully you are all excited as well for Beacon Zora. We're glad you are here. Good to see everybody. We appreciate you showing up and being part of this madness that we have put out on the internet for everyone to enjoy. So... <laughs> Today, we are getting into session number 6060 today. Uh, we are cruising along. Super exciting. I'm glad you have been a part of this beautiful thing, especially to my players. Thank you all for joining me in this adventure. I appreciate you all so much. Um, but uh, let's get into our typical player introduction time, and then we can kind of get into the session. So... Rachie, why don't you take it away? Hi. Um, I'm Rachel slash Pip, and I stream art on Mondays at 3.30 CST, and then a lot of times recently Saturdays at 7 CST. So um, it's been really fun. Uh, so come hang out with me. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be working on. Probably Christmas commissions for people. Gandalf might be one of them, but like a person... Ooh. Dressed up as Gandalf, so. I don't know why I thought you meant you were drawing Christmas fun. pictures, like in Santa or something. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's fun. I mean, Gandalf could be considered oh, like a work. sort of Santa. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, the Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, the Hobbit's sitting go. on his lap telling them what they want for Christmas. Yes. <laughs> and second Christmas Eve. And... Yeah. The, the client would get a very different commission than what they asked for, but... <laughs> I think it's hey. okay to take liberties in this case. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and uh, I play Karis, um, ninth level, Shadow Sorcerer, Woo! 17 and Sassy. Let's do it. That's it. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's head on down to Kelly. Hello, my name is Kelly, and I play Raya. I'm in level nine rogue, um, thinking of branching out. <laughs> We're gonna see. Um, and I don't. I think she's 29. She's like my age and bitter. And I'm kidding. <laughs> Not, what did you say? 17 and sassy, so I'll say 29 and bitter. There we go. As as we all are. Well, the are about right. <laughs> all the time you're original, you're like, okay, I'm done. That's all. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Thank I'll you. Like on that note. <laughs> Short, sweet, simple. <laughs> Sums up. Maybe not bitter is the wrong word. Let's say cynical. Jaded. 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 Cynical. Jaded. Weathered. You know what? Weathered. Yeah, it's a good one. We haven't done this yet. I got I got uh, both Renan and Karis's birthday on my calendar. I need to know what birthday is Raya's. So uh... let's just decide it right now. Right just, now. just give me a number one through twelve, and then another number or you can one through roll thirty. It. You could roll it. Or you wait, could can roll I, it. Can I have her? Wait, can I have her birthday be on like a significant holiday in Beacon's World, so ever, like she just never celebrates? <laughs> <laughs> she just never mentions it, and no one ever. <laughs> Illuminance Day. <laughs> there's not. Yeah, like, oh, no. There's not really any holidays in this world. So go ahead, just give me two numbers. Two numbers. One uh, through twelve, uh, and then one through thirty. Did they not celebrate the start of like the beacon and when it started, like the day that he? Why showed would up? they celebrate that day? It's a horrible. They're not day. dead. Horrible. <laughs> well, they're no. not dead. I don't know. It's, hey, it's... you're living in. Like I don't know. Live day. Um. Oh, okay, I'm gonna say <laughs> live day. Um. I'll say the first number. I'll do six, and the second six. number, I'll do seventeen. Six, oh, seventeen, eighteen. 18. 18. 18. 18. All right, it's going on the calendar. Nice. I like it. I like it. Okay, cool. I'm proud of you. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> the decisiveness today. I'm excited for today's game. <laughs> I'm feeling fresh. <laughs> I'm spicy today. <laughs> not feeling weathered. Not feel. I'm not feeling weathered, but I'm about to get into the weathered zone. So if we get to 618, everyone, be sure to give Raya a birthday gift. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. I, I don't tell anyone. I don't tell anybody's birthday. 
Okay. <laughs> Mark's like, we'll see about that. Oh, there we go. I, maybe, maybe Shaw, I think Shaw might have my birthday, though, because he'd be like, in my intake forms or something. I don't know. Oh, there we go to Michael. Take it away. I have no clue how I'm following any of that. So, <laughs> hi, my name is Michael. Bardic Dice. I'm not sick anymore, so fingers crossed. My internet and my health stays up so I can stream this week. Uh, but yeah, I also stream uh, Feywild on Wednesday and Fates United. I don't know why I named them both starting with an F. On Thursday, both at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You should check it out. Super excited to get back to it. Um, yeah, that that's about it. I'm trying to think of an adjective for Renan. He's, he's feeling... Uh, Super holic right now. He, he's gonna change his voice and be red in the glove boy. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So he's he's, he's, work, said, he's working on a design. I think he said red in the club boy. I'm like, he's going yeah. through a phase. All the ladies love me after I kill a demon, so I'm heading out to the he's club like glow tonight. <laughs> his rave face. Just my dagger and everything. Yeah. Oh, all right. He hit glow boy to a whole new level. Like, yep. Love. Mm -hmm. So everyone, be sure to go follow Bardic Dice and give him some love and support as well. Um, we do share Discord with him. The Discord link is in the chat. You can join that and hang out with us during the week and have a lot of fun with us and hear about how miserable I am in the snow. I won't do it too much, though, so you all will get overloaded with it. <laughs> but Every day. <laughs> I will not do it every day, I promise. Uh, even if my soul feels that way, I will not do that to you all. Um <laughs> So, uh, yeah, go join our Discord. You can also go ahead and head to the Beacons Aura chat channel in our Discord and post memes and GIFs and fun stuff like that throughout the session because it's always a blast to go look at those when we're done. And uh, they're hilarious. I love them. I appreciate everyone who does that because it makes me laugh so much. So <laughs> pop on over there. Especially if you can get us a break mid-game, it's super fun. As well. If yeah, you that's true. get people a break mid-game, that's good accomplishment you can always mm -hmm. tip your own little hat there and clip it or something like i broke this character or whatever you want to <laughs> so uh challenge acceptance is lit. perfect <laughs> i like that <laughs> all right uh but that is our characters i'm mark the dungeon master um and i'm very glad to be here with all of you uh, we do have a YouTube channel. If you want to go watch older past sessions, it's all archived there. And a podcast that you can find on Apple, Spotify. Um, it's usually pretty up-to-date. Rach does a great job at editing and getting those up in a timely manner. So thank you, Rach. I'm a week behind, but thank you. <laughs> Better than multiple weeks behind, like, your boy. So <laughs> you're doing great. Thank you. Uh, but yeah. Consider giving us a follow, too, if you enjoy anything D&D content, Zelda content, uh, art content, anything like that, because we're typically doing that during the week. And you can be notified when we go live, and come check us out. So, But we appreciate all y'all for being here. You're all amazing. Let's get into a recap, and then get into the session. I'll start off with turning on my tunes. Let's see, we'll do this song. Uh, as a reminder, you can always do exclamation point recap if anybody pops in and is kind of lost on where we are at. You can just do that, and we'll it'll help hopefully catch some people up. And you guys are all awesome for recapping people in the chat anyways, so thank you for that. Uh, but previously in our game, the, the party recently defeated Jarzagon, was on their way back to the Sun Elves to sort of amend the relationship there and especially with the chief Sabra Lyra began to tell her about what had happened and how you were right especially Karis really liked to drive home the point that she was right <laughs> and she was holding back a she lot she did hold back but mm -hmm. she did want to drive the point home that she was it, right it did need to be said <laughs> Uh, but eventually, Sabra Lyra did apologize, begrudgingly <laughs> apologized, sort of forced out of her. Uh, Gwynestri seemed to have some part in kind of pushing that apology into action. Um, but they slept the night there. Uh, Renan got to 
have a goodbye moment with his mother. And uh, as she moved on, and the next morning they awoke, and uh, Gwynestri gave Ren his super buff, awesome armor back yeah. that he could use. He's currently very encumbered right now with two sets of armor that are pretty large <laughs> and a shield. So, uh, but they walked their the distance back to an abandoned vehicle from Spire that they received from Mr. Shaw a while back, and were able to get into that, begin to drive out of the forest. As they emerged from the tree line of the forest, though, they were kind of just looking out the window, looked up, and saw what looked to be like a crack across the sky. It looked, it was blue in color, um... Same color as the sky, just visible looking crack across the sky. Not really sure what that is, but it's there. And they continue their journey though. Uh, they stopped at the farmhouse, saw that everyone was gone. I think they, yeah, you took Lorith and Ezhil's body from the farmhouse, brought them in the vehicle, and continued your journey driving back to. Let's see. And we, we brought Aaliyah too, right? Nope, yeah. Aaliyah was gone. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh... Aaliyah was gone. But okay. you guys drove your way back into kind of the outskirts part of the city where there's like a bunch of houses and neighborhoods, but they're abandoned. And then continued your way back towards the actual functioning part of the city. So that's where we're going to pick up as you are all driving in. Uh, did you guys have preparations you want to do before you got actually driving in? I think you were talking about some. I was disguising myself. I think. Did we say guard or just some random person? I can't we agreed on. I think guard. Right? guard like a spire guard. Yeah. A spire guard. Okay. Because yeah. we're, we're in a spire vehicle. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. And I'll then we can just like get on the floor. Not laying with dead people, hopefully. Yeah. Yep. All right. So you're doing your best to hide while you are in there. I just covered Laura's body with the armor, just dumped it on top. Just... Okay. Help hide it. Uh, also, uh, part of the preparations, I, I wanted to fill in Raya and Karis about um, saying goodbye to his mother during the during the ride in. So. Okay. Yeah. I didn't want to RP it, but I just figured, you know, he would at least... So that was communicated to you both. Um, She'll be really happy. <laughs> yeah. But I'd be happy. We'll have the whole religion talk later with them. <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> have you guys, like, do you guys, like, ever pray? No. <laughs> where do you think happens when you die? <laughs> you know where you're going? <laughs> A lot, so, I can tell you. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, you, again, reach the edge of the city and begin to drive in, kind of on the side that the Iron Fist is on. Um, where is your plans on where you're driving in? Like, where are you going to? What's your destination? Spire, right? Spire. Probably should do Spire first. Yeah. Okay. So Raya's driving, disguised as a guard. Uh... Just out of the fun of it, give me a oh, no. deception roll with advantage. Just to see how you are doing looking to be a guard. Yes. Like a guard? Yep. Okay. With can advantage? I, can, I read, yes. can I reach her from where I'm at? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to just say this is a general roll. <laughs> okay. I... So I'm having all the cats. <laughs> they're, like all, they're like chewing on all my cords and stuff. I'm like, what is this? Um... I got a uh, 19. 19. So pretty good. So confidence is there. You're driving wait, along. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. You said deception. Deception, right? yes. Wait, am I bad? I think I'm way better at deception. Never mind. Hold on. Oh, look at her. Really good at deception. There she goes. No, I'm not. I'm not. Never mind. I thought I was really good at deception. Okay. Actually, it's worse. It's worse than I thought. I thought it was a three at the two. It's 18. Oh, 18. Okay. <laughs> that was the deciding factor. Okay. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Maybe that's here. <laughs> Uh, you're driving in along, and you make your way through the city. 
I mean, people do kind of watch because a vehicle driving through is a little rare. It's not super common to have people driving around. There's very few who actually have the money and the connections to have these types of vehicles. But no one seems to stop you, wave you down, try to get you to pull over or anything like that. They all just kind of watch as you drive by. And you proceed you pr proceed no, through the city uh, towards Spire Tower, which eventually you do see coming up uh, down the road. So you pull up. Anything suspicious? Any weird? Nobody? Uh, go ahead. Just give me a perception roll as you kind of look around. Uh, uh, tw uh, 12. 12. Okay. I mean, you're just looking around. There's not a ton of people out. I mean, with the, the cold setting in in the, the city, less people are just out and about hanging around outside. Um, so you just look around. There's a couple people walking. No one outside really seems to take interest to you. Okay. All right. And nobody, like, nothing. Basically, I feel like I would try to also avoid, like, if I saw any beacon people, it'd be, like, kind of a, they won't get it back to them. So, we had, I don't know. We don't see any beacon people out or anything. Um, I mean, as you're driving, you, as you kind of get close to the market, you do look in and you see there are members of the beacon who are in the marketplace, but that's all you see. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just, yeah, keep driving then to get to Spire. Okay. So yeah, you're there, you're outside, you park the car. Um, so I'm like, okay, uh, I'm going to do the thing where I, wait, wait, actually question before I do it. Um, am I like th within 30 feet of Spire? Like do we park it in front of the building? Yeah, right. That's what you, you are close. Uh, are you trying to park it 30 feet from the door? <laughs> um, I don't know how the parking works. Or like how like where they put it or any of that. There's like a side there. garage around the side um, that you could go towards. Um, there's the front entrance which has a little more space, and that would be hard to park 30 feet by the front entrance. So there's like walkways and little. Oh, so the like, garage is kind of like sheltered. Kind of, yeah. I mean, it's an indoor garage though, so you'd have to have access to get into there. I was just trying to miss you step into the building so I didn't have to get out of the car. Okay. <laughs> so... um, I, can, I can try and park, because I guess if you guys wanted to... I can, but I basically, I'll just try and park somewhere where no one can see like that we're, what we're doing. Okay. So you pull around to the side then? Side garage, yeah. You can always get out yeah. and walk inside to get access. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Left your badge at home. You missed you step in, Karis? Well, I guess not now that we're in the side, so. <laughs> no one there like I must. Yeah, there's no point, so. <laughs> there are, there are uh, Spire, like, guards who are located here just keeping a watch. Yeah, but... yeah. Okay, so you're just they're stepping out of the car. Um, and do you leave the bodies, or are going to lug those along? <laughs> uh, maybe for now. Well, I mean, there's yeah, guards we'll... here. Like, we're checking in with them, right? I'm guessing. Like, letting them know we're here. Yeah, we can't like bring, but yeah. Maybe we should. Maybe we should not bring bodies like into the lobby, though. Maybe we should. Just yeah. Maybe we, <laughs> we should, should leave talk him for a to Mr. Hoppers and see how he wants us to. Uh -huh. I don't. I don't like alarm people if they're just like hanging out. Yeah. Okay. Do you think? Do you think maybe they could radio up to him while we're here? Hey, can you radio up to Mr. Shaw and tell him that we're here? Uh. Oh, I, we're not hiding. Okay. <laughs> Sure. Uh, so he'll get on a phone and call up. As Karis and Reddit like slowly get up from the floor. <laughs> oh yeah, I already got out. Uh, okay, I don't know. I don't know if you're still in the car or not. Yeah. But it's just like, okay, uh, you can come in. What place is the us to play in? Yeah, I say we leave him for now. I think it's okay. Do the I mean, doors have locks? You can lock them. Yeah, we'll lock it. <laughs> we also might cover him just so and people aren't like looking in at like the window. I don't know how tinted, yeah, because the windows are pretty tinted, but. Yeah. I kind of just go over a whisper like, do you guys not trust the guards or something? What? No, it's fine. No, it's just, it's more just like, 
I don't know. Bodies in a car isn't a great look if we just walk in, but... That's kind of why I want to tell them, instead of just walking in and not telling them that we have them in the back. And tell them. Uh, I'm just wondering if you guys tell are... Them. Tell worried. them. I dare you. Tell them. Okay. Do you guys want to ask if there's, like, a place we can take them? I feel like leaving them in a trunk is kind of weird. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Mr. Guard. Yes. Uh, sorry, I haven't met you before. We haven't come in through the garage. My name's Ren, and I'm sure you. Uh, what's your name? Uh, you can call me George. Hi, George. It's it's really nice to meet you. Um. So yeah, we we were we were uh you know <laughs> notes of George in the garage. Yep. Uh, <laughs> me. Yeah. So yeah, no, we we were doing a little thing for Shaw. Uh, well, kind of. Un anyway, long story. Uh, unfortunately, there's a few people that died. Um, we have their bodies. I wasn't sure. Is there a place you can help us take them to? Like a. Morgue? I don't know if Renan knows what a morgue is or not, but yeah, like a or just some. Place. So you want them buried? No, yeah, not yet. That's what Shaw wants to do. Yeah, yeah we have to ask Shaw. One of them we we're trying to kind of. And one I'm, yeah. I want to bring back one day. So. What? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, like healing stuff. We'll, we'll see. Uh oh. Yeah, right. You guys are weird. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. You know what's weird? What's normal? Right? You know, we're all kind of. Bodies and cars is kind of weird, but. Yeah, okay, that's fair. I'll, I'll give you that one. Okay. George, just, it's just that sometimes that Mr. Shaw likes to find out things about things, you know, and so one of the bodies in here was messing around with some stuff, so we didn't know if it would be anything to important study we need to, yeah, to study. So that's what it's for. Okay. Uh, I can see if he wants to dissect one of the bodies. No, well... Dissect. Dissect. Uh, Dissect. Yeah, can you just tell him Ezio and Laura are in the trunk and what he wants to do with that? Okay. He goes over the phone again. <laughs> you guys can go. <laughs> she just motions you along. Yeah, I see yeah. why you guys maybe didn't want to say anything. Yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> Uh, I need the keys, by the way. He asked for the keys. Oh, you have the keys, Ryan? Oh, yeah, sorry. I can't get in the keys. Wait! <laughs> Never mind, it's fine. Paranoid. I, I'm really paranoid. Can I just... Can I, I, just I had a trees? second through where I was like, I'm about to cast a spell just to make sure that... Nah, I trust can, George. Can I, it's fine. Can I, can I just insight him? I just want to insight George. I know. I just sure. Like... Roll an insight roll. <laughs> Because I don't know something. In what secrets do you have to hide, George? George, what's your what's your deal? Um, twenty four. PD needs the keys to potentially move the car, get access yeah, to the it, trunk, it, it, all the stuff. Give, okay, I, I give him the keys. I, I just kind of. Okay. Be, be careful. I'll just say, be careful with this. We just got this back for Shaw, and he might be. I want to make sure it looks at least intact. Yeah. I thought you were about to ask him to wash it, and I was like, yo, right? No! No! Yeah. We really hey, just want it looking nice. Can you go spruce it up for us real quick? No. He's just, like, looking at you, another spire guard, because you're disguised that way. And just kind of oh, like, right. hmm, okay. And just <laughs> takes the keys from you. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about that. I forgot I was, okay. <laughs> uh, anyways. Off to a strong start. Get it. Go. Right go. <laughs> So good. Uh, hey, George, you're the best. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> I got okay. this. Okay. I'm gonna before I enter the building, I'm gonna undisguise myself. Okay. Drop the spell. All right. You walk in, kind of get to one of the side entrances to the lobby, getting in here, and um. Make sure I know what day of the week it is. Uh, it's pretty empty, actually. It is a weekend day. We always come on a weekend. I was about to say, like, yeah. Always. Because we're good at that. We are really good at that. 
or like really late at night when it's like we always yeah, come when it's closed. <laughs> yep. It's alright. Shaw's always here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but there <laughs> is there is uh one of the guards like near the front entrance who sees you all but doesn't pay any mind to you as you walk towards the elevator. You want to talk to Shaw first before you talk to Ratha? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Sounds good. Uh, so you get in, go to the eighth floor. The <laughs> Karis quickly pushes the button. Before anyone else can. <laughs> and ride your way up to the eighth floor uh, to go and meet with Mr. Shaw. Has, has Karis ever, like, just pushed all the buttons before? Probably. Oh, okay. Especially, like, uh, when I've gone to see him alone. Bing. I, Bing. I probably have. <laughs> Just a guard being like, oh, it's you. I'll wait. Yeah. I'll wait for it. Yeah, I'm not going to get in. <laughs> or someone else in the elevator with you. I'm going to go on the stairs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you, yeah, you make your way up to the eighth floor, and you can make your way to Shaw's office if you'd like. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Um, he is in his office. Uh stands up when you all enter and greets you uh hello uh, everybody uh welcome back i'm sorry to hear about uh what happened i'm sure that was challenging for you uh please uh, you you Hold may on, before you ask us to do anything are you like still like in that, you know, mind control thing. We're brainwashed all the time, though. Yeah, are we? Yeah. Isn't it like every day, though? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm trying to word things very carefully here, Renan. Uh, you may choose to sit or stand. Do what you feel like doing. <laughs> Is that a wisdom save? <laughs> No, you you guys oh, okay. are still under his control. <laughs> like all of you failed. You are currently under his control. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, right. Yeah. Now I'm wondering, like, so is it like our choice if you tell us to choose, but we have? Well, that's a mind trip. Thanks, and he just sits <laughs> and then stands because <laughs> he doesn't know which one's <laughs> his choice or not. Existential <laughs> crisis. Yep. And Good news though, we did. We found. Uh, we got the car back, and we got Ren's armor. Back. We got the car back and the armor back, Mister Shaw. And and we defeated Jarzagon. Wow, you that. did the some amazing things. We were, we were way more concerned about his stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, and, and the whole thing we were doing for a long time, we we did it. Uh, oh, I just coming at me like I got it. No, I I got it. I'll tell him. <laughs> Well, thank you for bringing back the car. Uh, appreciate that. It's very good that you were able to do that. Um, I'm so sad. I'm so glad that you aren't sad about that anymore. I was thinking about that a lot. I felt so bad. Yes. I, I, you did a great. Good job. Thanks. Um, anyways. Jarzagon, you said, is dead. It was in this nasty muck stuff, and it uh, looks like the forest is back to being, like, quiet, I guess? Nothing moved? It seems like the corruption's gone for now. That's definitely a good thing to hear. There was a, um... There was, like, a blue rune, though, that seemed like it was abjuration that was underneath Jargazon. What? A blue rune? Oh. Wasn't it a blue rune that we destroyed? No, what are you talking about? What? Am I... <laughs> what was the thing we destroyed on the ground? We didn't destroy anything on the ground. <clears throat> just what are you talking him. about? We just killed him. We found Roz's body. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, we did that. <laughs> Michael, is... is my, am Michael not remembering this? Or... <laughs> so, Renan, that is definitely something strange to you. That you remember this. It happened. And they apparently 
don't think it happened. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, y'all are in on something. <laughs> I legit had a moment of like, <laughs> I didn't get a lot of things, but I'm pretty sure that happened. We wait, wait. had like a, we had like a 15 minute discussion about it too. So yeah, like... and Mark was like, don't tell Mike. And oh. I was, I understand why now. That was a worth, that was worth it. So that was worth it. <laughs> No, yeah, Ren and I had the same reaction. Uh, yeah, we did. <laughs> what? Yeah, guys, the rune underneath Chargazon that, like, we freaked out about for, like, ten minutes. Yeah, was that a dream, do you think? I think that... Did you dream it? It's a check on the two of them. Roll insight. Oh, is that 16 or 10? Okay, 16. Uh, 19! They seem pretty genuine. That's weird. Uh, so Mr. Shaw, there's a blue rune that Gwen and I destroyed that the two of them don't remember. Are you sure it was a, not a dream, though? Like a yeah, moon no, lady? I, no, I remember. No, I, dreams are in the forest. This was under the temple. Why wouldn't we remember it? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, uh, Mr. So Shaw? maybe you were making it up. Mr. Shaw, can you tell them to remember? Um, I don't know if that works. <laughs> I can try. Is that okay with you if I try to both of you? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, Karis, remember the thing he's talking about? Does, no, there's no memory of it. It, does, it doesn't exist. You're very confused what he's even talking about. I don't know. Huh. Okay, so what are you saying it was? That might be the unsettling thing. Okay. Weird. Uh, so, Shaw, yeah, it was like an abjuration sort of runic spell <laughs> that he was like sitting on. And it was Wait. not part of the temple, it was part of his lair. And we destroyed it. I don't know what this means. Did you describe what it looked like? Uh, Renan did draw it. Or I think Raya drew it in Renan's book or something like that. Something happened. Someone drew it. One, one of us drew it. I can't remember who it was. Someone drew it. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, 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 Good I remember question. us talking about drawing it because I was like very specific about that. I was like, I want it yeah. drawn. And I think Raya said she drew it. Because I think I, she said the, she was doing it. If I, I, I can't remember. It was I, I one think, of the two. I think you're right. Can I, um, is it your notebook then? Yeah, can I look through my notebook and see if I find it? You flip through your notebook, you do not see anything there. Oh, weird. <laughs> oh, it probably I mean, was a dream. No. Yeah, I don't remember. You probably don't dreamed remember. writing it. It's not a dream. Are you sure there wasn't like a moon lady vision or something? You're sure? Are any of them, like, still bruised and, like, battered from the fight? Like, are we still, like... I mean, you got some sores them? here and there, yeah. Like, that, I don't get... That... Does this look like a dream to you? What? Well, no, we remember, we remember the battle. We fought Jar's all gone. Yeah, that... I just don't know what you're talking about with... This, this is weird. Shots this down and starts writing some notes down in a notebook. <laughs> Um, huh. Okay. So, let me get this straight. Renan, you remember some sort of abjuration rune on the ground underneath Jarzagon, and you two do not. Yeah, I guess. Interesting. So what do you guys remember from after the battle? What did we do? We looked through all the stuff. And Roz found his body, which was real sad. And gun back. then Raya got her gun back. And then Roz That's... gave Gwen a sword. And then we went up. And then we met. We met the moon lady and the sun guy, Mr. Shaw. That was so cool. Wow. They were, like, wow. really shiny. You guys were doing that while we were looking at the rune, though. And what? 
rune. <laughs> I don't like it's this. Just that like rune. Uh, you think, do you think Gwen would remember? If she was there, would she remember? Yeah. Sounds maybe. I don't know. Well, that wouldn't make sense if it was like a big deal. Why would we forget? So I'm pretty sure. You're, really you're sure this happened, Renan, right? I am 100% sure this happened. This was not a dream. This is different than when I have a dream, right? What did you mark? <laughs> Just making sure <laughs> yeah. Renan's perception on it is like mine. <laughs> yeah, what you're okay. describing seems accurate yeah. to you. What did you do with? What did you do with it? Did you touch it? Did you? Did any of us touch it? He looks very disappointed that she doesn't know that. Like, <laughs> like her black and just sat in, like, I don't like this. Uh, just, Gwen and I marked it out with our, because it was, like, carved into the ground, and we, we cut through it with the daggers. That's when the big earthquake, who, that's why we left the room. Who cut through it with the daggers? Glenestri and I. That's what I'm saying. Would Gwen remember then? Well, I thought you didn't remember Gwen Street for a second. Mr. Shaw's about to start crying. <laughs> we no, would never of course, forget Gwen. Of course. Of oh, course. you guys. Oh, I'm just saying this is weird. Huh. Very strange. Well, anyways, please continue with your stories. Did you um, guys see the crack in the sky, too? I was just going to say, Mr. Shaw, can you... Yeah, did you see the crack, crack in the sky? sky? That was real weird. There's a crack in the sky. I did notice something over to the east of here that looked sort of like a crack. Do you know anything about that? We were going to ask you. Oh, it just happened. Uh, Renan, do you know anything about that? Does it look at all similar? I think I already asked this. It doesn't look like the same cuts they made, right? It just looks like a crack in the sky. Yeah. No. I mean, we noticed it after we picked up Ezhiel and Morris from the house we left them at. I mean, I'm assuming they're related. Seems like a big coincidence, but I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's very strange to see that in the sky. I don't know what to think about it, but... We didn't, like, hurt the protection on the city, did we? I have no idea what, what any of this means. This is all very strange to me. Um... I'll have to, I don't know, think about it a little bit and see if I can come to any conclusions or theories about what might be happening. Um, maybe it will all go away. Who knows? Like, do, do cracks in the sky happen? Normally? I've never personally seen it, but I'm not sure. Okay. Also, Mr. Shaw, there was, uh, when the moon lady and the sun guy said that jars are gone, was like, like, eating people's souls and stuff. Wow. Yeah. And, like, their magic and everything. And they're all trapped even when they were dead or something. Like my mom. Yeah. Huh. So you're saying that maybe that is the reason why the elves were losing their magic. So they said, yeah. And Everyone like they're gonna life. live forever. Yeah. yeah. Well, then clearly you treated an amazing service for the elves. Then that's very, very good of you. I think they're okay now. Maybe. 
That's so. great news. Do you yeah. seem hesitant, Renan? Why is that? It's the fact that they don't remember. Just... Oh, you're talking about these two? Yeah. Just the moon lady said something was unsettling after we did it, and it's making me wonder what else is going on. Huh. That's kind of Hustle. disturbing if, we, if it did happen. We don't... I'd be curious to know if Gwen remembers. But I mean, we don't remember she, half, she does. Of, half of what happened with Colum, too, right? I mean... Well, yeah, yeah that's true, actually. So what so. you're saying, if we destroyed it, like, wiped out our memories of it? I don't know. I don't know why it would. Why yeah. I would remember and you don't. Maybe since you're the one who destroyed it, you remember. Maybe. That is Have you talked to anyone else about valid it? Valid theory. Mm. Or maybe if it's not a dream, maybe Moon Lady was like, I'll help you remember. You know? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Like, she would, you know, help help him remember more, because she's with him. And not us. Yeah, I'll try and reach out to her tonight. We'll see what she says on this. Did you talk to her about it? The fact that you don't remember? No, uh, the, the room, destroying it or whatever. Did you talk to her about it? Not yet, no. So I didn't know if we, so we talked to her, and if she remembers, then she might have some insight on it, I guess. Yeah. yeah I, don't I mean, can I, can I help out of character with something, Mark? Sure. Okay. Um, we all had a convo about it, like, on the car ride back. Yeah, about like, the runes? Yeah. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> okay, I, the way you were talking about it, and we talked about it with Gwen, no. too, so I didn't know you were saying... Yeah, well, I meant, like, I thought she meant, like, anybody else besides... Oh, that. okay. Yeah. I meant oh, that. I, I meant, see, sorry. I meant anybody else, and then I also meant, like, if I don't... I can't remember... I thought... I thought you talked... We told the rune lady, but I could be wrong. I thought we had said, like, hey, there's a rune, we destroyed it, and she was like, oh. I, I, think, so, I think we had talked about it right then, but yeah, yeah I was thinking yeah. you meant, like, a dream, like... Talk no, about I just meant, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, I was, like try, I was trying to be like, yeah, had, had you talked to, if anyone else right. can confirm this, or if they remember, if everyone forgot, then that would be something. Yeah, yeah Ren will just reiterate, just be like, I mean, we talked about it in the car, we talked about it with them right afterwards, but like, nothing in else. In the car? Yeah. Before oh, was we that started <laughs> That was like, today. today. Oh. Oh. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Shaw, have you ever heard gone like a bunch of stuff? I mean, I, well, I just forgot, do like, forget stuff. Down. This seems very strange, though. Mm hmm. That you both are remembering two different things. Not even two different things, it's just they just don't remember it. Yeah, it's or almost I as if it's been something erased or something. So, yeah. It's very strange. Okay. Well, I'll definitely keep an eye on this. I may ask you in the future, Renan, to see if you forget it or remember it. Um, yeah, totally. And potentially she, asking Gwynestri I'm, if she Like is. writing something down again, like noting this in, in the book, where he thought the drawing was. Um, but yes, potentially asking Gwynestri if she remembers as well would be... Uh, good to know. Especially, I mean, if she was also one who up destroyed, maybe there's a connection there. She remembers. Yeah. Maybe that's something to consider. Um, mm. It's unfortunate you do not have any drawing of it, though, that could prove useful. I don't get why have we don't. Any... Have you How ever could the drawing just like disappear? Sorry. But... sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, no, you're good. But... Um, have you heard of anything like like a room type thing before, Mr. Shaw, or no? 
Or things that <sighs> make you forget them? I mean, there are certain spells that you can use kind of runes to create different effects, but... Um, but mm. the forgetting thing is strange, for sure. Yeah. Um... Also, Mr. Shaw, uh, there we, um, Lorith is dead. Okay. Uh, and so. She, she was working they, with, uh, like, everybody. Yeah, she was working okay. with the Sun Elf extremist guy and that Moon Elf kid that attacked us earlier. And then Aaliyah was there. Oh. And she was with Jarza gone. She said she heard his voice in her head, I think. She was like she crazy, did... Mr. Shaw. Like, I felt real also, bad for her. <sighs> she did this thing, too, where she made uh, Laura's dead body talk to us. Yes, it was so creepy. Very strange. I mean, you said she was digging well, up bodies before, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I think she's able to, like, talk to dead people. Yeah. Okay. So that was uh, real weird. Is she okay? Is a favorite okay? Uh, no, a uh, Gwen can like kill them all. Like <laughs> Except for Aaliyah. Aaliyah is alive, but she ran away. He tried to tie her up and leave her somewhere, but it didn't work out. And she just got away. Uh, I see. Which I felt but... bad. I wanted to try to help her because you said she was real nice before, right? Yeah, she was very sweet. Um, been very concerned for her. Mm. Me too. If we brought her back here, we we're gonna try to do that. If we brought her back here. Do you think you could like compel her not to be crazy anymore? <laughs> uh, I can attempt to. You can certainly try to do that, and I can see what I can do. Or whenever you, if you work on a injection that safely can remove powers, maybe we can remove powers, and maybe that can back to normal. Potentially. I, I want her to be normal, but we also want to make sure, you know, we should at least get her to maybe teach us how to talk to dead people first. <laughs> Before we do that. You want to know how to do that? Do you have a big desire for that, Riot? <laughs> no, not, I don't personally, but it's a very handy thing to have, isn't it? So. If... I don't want to, I I would probably not want to do that. First, personally. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting necromancy is peaked. <laughs> interesting. Okay. <laughs> Depending on the people, I think I'd want to talk to some people. Well, maybe she can teach you that. Uh, not, not me. Again, not me. I'm not saying me. I was just saying in general. <laughs> yeah. But they, so they all were working together for Jarza gone, and they both wanted to kill Ren and Gwen because apparently they're the only people that could kill Jarza gone or something. Um. So speaking yeah. of which the sun elf she's talking about his name's Lycor um, he mm -hmm. apparently is I guess the one that was um, I forget his name but Raya your sister's friend that mm -hmm. we found without his bones Yeah. apparently they were taking people's bones out of their bodies which is weird we were finding out what he's using Calvin. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know anything of what they were doing still. Like they like we tried to keep them alive, but Gwen got like The thing is uh, he he has an older either brother or father associated with him. Shaw, did Glorith ever speak of Lycor or anyone else? No. It's hoping so, but okay. Um oh. Yeah. But they, they killed Ezheal. Yeah. And they were the ones that attacked my pops when I left the village. Maybe the world is better without them then. Uh, Sorry, can I you repeat so. that? There's a really loud noise. What? Sorry, uh, my cat's not. I don't get maybe that. it's better that the world is rid of them if they were doing those types of things. I mean, yeah. I'm just... Good we, know know, there's I guess. we just know there's more. We don't know how to find them. That's the problem. More, okay. Do you, well, be on the lookout, I guess, about... for those. So you worked with Loreth a lot. Did she, like, ever... 
I mean, I know never act she... like a two-faced liar, like, just the worst. <laughs> or just mentioning no. that could be uh, maybe useful. I just know that she always seemed like she wanted to help her tribe, and I just would give her supplies, and she'd teach me magic, and mm-hmm. we had a, a deal made up for that. So I always thought she yeah. was very genuine in wanting to assist the Sun Elves. I mean, I think she was, just in the stupid way, maybe. Or I don't something. know. I don't know if she wanted Well, to maybe not, herself. actually, yeah. Maybe she just wanted to help herself, honestly, that's kind of what I... They liked Jarzagon more, it felt like. But he was also pretending to be the sun spirit. But I don't know if that was a lie that she was telling Sab. We also were, I think we're okay with Sab now. Sorta. She. Well, that's also good to hear. <laughs> that was a stream of consciousness right there. <laughs> what? That was like a stream of consciousness right there. Just jumping from thought to thought. That was like three points back to back. She's not wrong, but... Shaw's like eyes are bouncing like okay. back and all forth right. over there. Like, all right, okay. Keeping track. Oh, okay. Like, okay. All right, okay. Um, yes, it's uh, very unfortunate what happened to your friend S. Hill. I'm very sorry for that. Uh, he will be missed for yeah. sure. Well, that's the thing. Um, I think I have a spell that can extend the length time before he can be revived kind of like how um Karis's dad had a certain amount of time before we had to do that I was wondering if there's a way that maybe we can keep him here it's safe and every 10 days or so I can try and extend that until maybe I can revive him of course absolutely but you are welcome to store uh sorry it's i don't know i'm very sorry i'm being insensitive no we don't have a good word for it either we put them we in the don't trunk, know how to so. talk about it we're all like really sad but we don't know what to do do we have like guidance counselors or therapists on, on staff Something. <laughs> he, like counselor. all of us are really dealing with some stuff he he stands up and just kind of like turns to look out the window uh clearly upset about what's going on um yeah i'm It's just... Renan, you've been brought back from the dead, and Karis, your father, has been brought back from the dead. And Yeah. I... There's power out there to bring people back to life. I... I don't know, maybe someday I can tap into that knowledge and help you Rachel, you're like. <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> you can't even keep a straight face. You're, like you're like a yes. I know. There's, there must be some sort of power out there that can be tapped into. To stop death? <laughs> anyway, um, on a. On a... How could Some you? Fighter. How could you do that though? Like, how could you be like, I am the most powerful? You know. I don't know, but Brother Hibbert did it. Well, yeah, with Illuminance. Illuminance did it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's something out there I... that gives them I'm that like... ability, right? You could do it without diamonds, because we need lots of diamonds, and those are hard to come by. Illuminance did it without diamonds. It's true. How did? He just uses, like, Illuminance power? Interesting. Illuminance, yeah. He just did it, I think. And then, I think Hibbert used, yeah, Illuminance's power. You said. Spe- oh, speaking of Illuminance and stuff, did anyone notice that we were gone? Oh, yeah, what happened with that? Well, how long have we been gone for, technically? Uh, you left... You left on the 20th, and it's the 23rd, so. Uh, Yes, I did get a few questions, but I covered for you. Um, Did you say we were at a conference or something? Or at training? Just that I was uh, having you work on some things here that you were not to be disturbed. They were very upset about that, 
and gave me some suspicious looks. It's not really helping the relationship with the beacon, but you know what? I don't care. So <laughs> we did we did a lot of stuff though, so I feel like it was worth it. I mean, some of me wonders if we said like later that we left the city and we're like, but we killed Jarzakon. He was a giant demon, and all the root bad things are probably gonna be gone now. Like maybe they'd yes. be like, oh, that's okay. I you think you guys left the city. I think you three are doing great things for the city, and people may not see that, but you're ultimately helping. So, Eris, the thing is, Wanda Thanks. thinks our powers are from demons and that we're lying about what we've done being under column or working with the demons so yeah, yeah I think we would need to prove it somehow I, so. I, unfortunately too I think if they're you know bent on hating us to be not good then they're gonna just think we're lying or that we're actually it's gonna, working with it's probably gonna take Illuminance himself telling them or Brother Hibber being cleared for Wanda and the Beacons to change their minds with us right now you know mm-hmm. quite possible but who knows i mean maybe you three can continue to kind of work under the radar and all of a sudden you start dealing with these major issues and all of a sudden the city is safe people have to start believing you at that point that's right no i mean they, they have to well they'll have to notice soon that like the forest is not crazy anymore yeah, the forest isn't crazy. There's not weird roots poison in everything anymore. And there's probably not going to be as much dead people running around. Do you think they're so. going to blame us the crack in the sky, though? Because I feel like they might try. We didn't do as that. As far as they know, you have been here working in the tower. That's true. So That's true. Cracks in skies? What? <laughs> we, we cracked the sky when we were in the tower. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> By, by doing research. <laughs> um, hey, did you, uh, use that demon mirror? No, he just looks over at the end corner. Just, I've been leaving that there, uh, for now. Okay. Can I, can I roll insight? Sure. Let me see if he's lying. I made my own mirror. Uh, tw- 20. Seems genuine. Okay. I I'm surprised. I because I think you said you wanted to. You're going to. At some point, I may consider doing it. It's just, I'm already towing the line, pretty heavily right now. I don't know how much I want to push things. Oh yeah, <laughs> I can see that. Uh, I have been receiving some. resistance from the beacon with the recent uh research i've been trying to endeavor on so with breaking the brain control yes what why uh i guess my request for subjects to come in has been found out by some members of the beacon and now they are warning everyone else that we are trying to make them be under our control so Pleasant times. I oh, enjoy it that's so much. Real so, awkward. I'm glad to see that it's okay to sacrifice people, but not to experiment how to save us. Good, good perception. There, uh, I guess. There is definitely a line of illuminance, and the Beaconites are all helping the city. And Spire is questionable. Don't go by them. So crazy. It's uh. Mark, if you I shut cast off, detect oh, magic subtly, by the way. Okay. I'm um, just trying to figure out if they have anything on them specifically that's making their memory. Okay. Be disturbed. So you look around. I mean, the mirror's going off. Your sword's going off. You don't really notice anything else that you would Nothing expect. different about Karis and Ryan. No. No. Okay. Anything on... Shaw specifically changed or no? Nope. Cool. Yeah. Just I, check it. Everything you'd expect to be here yeah. is there. Okay. Nothing unexpected. Okay. Um Okay, so you don't you don't have anyone you can experiment on right now. Um 
I mean, I don't want to experiment on you three, even though I accidentally sort of did stuff. But I'm not. I mean, you kind of are. Planning on that. A little bit. <laughs> um, That's for volunteers from the Moon Elves. They'd have to get injected, though. Yeah. Right. It's. I will continue to try to see who's interested. I'm sure I will find somebody eventually, some group of test subjects, uh, and move forward from there. But we'll see where this goes. The the beacon is definitely giving us some pushback now. It's unfortunate that they have learned about this. How do you think they've learned about it? Somebody that was asked probably mentioned it to them. Mm-hmm. I remember, did Red tell Hibbert? I remember him saying something to Hibbert at one point after they left. It wasn't about the mind control thing, was it? I don't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. I remember he said something to him about Shaw, but... Okay. Yeah, I mean, if if, Moon El if some of the Moon Elves want power, they could probably ha like have it. I wasn't like well, shutting down your idea, Ren. I was just saying as long as they would be okay with getting injection yeah i mean i'm just saying you can always ask yeah it's their, their choice either way yeah i didn't feel it was appropriate for me to ask them being sort of refugees of sorts uh staying here i wonder what <laughs> would like to be test subjects for us i mean we're we're all in this together we're all in danger so we're all refugees really yeah i just don't want them to feel like they're being taken advantage of I'll talk to Ratha. I'll just let her know that's out there, and if she wants to offer that to them, she can. That works. She might be interested in it in herself. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, and we have to see if she even can turn into a wolf anymore. Yeah, I'm really curious you about that. You think it was Josephine? Maybe. I, think it was I mean, a Theron was doing something oh, right. weird. It's true. Or hmm. is either. It's either using the berries to control them or to give them this power. I'm not sure. I'd be curious to see if their like regular powers start coming back. Yeah. Like they're supposed to. I think do they did did Gwen and Sab say that they had to reconnect with the sun spirit? Like they have to do something? Do you think, think your she, your people have she, to do that? I think she showed her the sun spirit but i don't i don't know if they have to reconnect or not oh That's okay i don't know what i was going to be talking to alasha about mm. it's probably going to actually depending on what we do stay with the, the moon elves tonight i was actually going to look into that okay more than welcome <gasps> can i charge my phone in your in your office yes thank you I'll just <laughs> I'll like immediately rush over and start charging it um we did offer an extension to the Sun Elves to come back to the city if they need safety. Because we figured Jargazon now being out, there might be other demons that attack them. So, not saying we need another conference room or anything, but just letting you know it might happen. We'll see. Okay. I will keep that in mind. This is going to be interesting. Very much. Do we have any better idea of, like, the actual extension of the aura now? Like, what's safe, what's not? Has there been any more look into that? It's hard to tell exactly, but we think majority of the outskirts is covered. But beyond that, it does not seem to be the case. So your, yeah. your elf friends likely are not within the aura. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we tried to tell them. We'll see if Sab listens or not. There's still some moon elves out there too. Yeah. Okay. Well. Guess um, we'll have to deal with those demons. Oh, yeah. What'd you say? I was just wondering if you met Wanda. She's real mean. Oh, yes. I... I have received word about her, so 
Did you talk to her? Uh, not personally at this point, but she does seem to be one of the people who is leading the charge against Spire right now. So She does not like us, Mr. Shaw. Any of us. She does not like me either, so we're all in the same boat. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, I don't know who couldn't like you, though. <laughs> you're very kind, but it's... Um, Yes. I think Spire is going to have some difficulty moving forward. It's, well, sorry. It's just very frustrating because we were fine for so long. And it feels like it's been nothing but difficulties since I took you, over. You would so. think that when the demon that runs the company is gone, people would like Spire more, not... Less. You would think, yes. So, takes oh. their faith in fire if they know a demon was in charge of it so long. Yeah, I guess. So, I don't know how things are going to go going forward, but well, well we were thinking we'll about trying to get some of the people to like us. Do you think that will help? Yeah. Like, she wasn't your sister going to call you back or something, Raya? Mel. Yeah, she's supposed to ask and see. Apparently, again, yeah, we're she's gonna try and see if we can get some support. But. It'd be nice That's to see idea. what we can do with the other factions. Yeah. Yeah. Start with that, right? The Roman rats, and then see what else after. Yeah. Because they all hate us, don't they? <laughs> not not hate us, but like we're not. Of a reason not to anymore. trust us. They're yeah. suspicious. Uh, we'll so quickly, just so y'all on the same page with me, I have a meeting with Wanda tomorrow. So. You want us to be there? <sighs> She's not gonna like, arrest you or something, is she? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> what is, why, what'd she say, like, when she was like, I want to have a meeting with you? Uh, it seems it's about... Spire's uh, position in the city. So. Oh, um, I'm nervous. Well, I was saying before we left, I really do think this is important that we try and get the other factions on our side. We have Hiver and Spire now at stake. Yeah. What should we do? Should we do something? I don't want to tell you what to do. <laughs> um, but... do you want to to make a, a idea? <laughs> I think you have some great ideas right now, where you are looking to influence the city to see you guys in the light that you are actually in, being helpful and aiding. Um, I think there are going to be questions for sure about some of the things we do because they are a bit out there and different from what people are used to they just need to learn that we are trying to help so yeah well i think the problem is is so many people like even sab and the moon elves and everybody so many people don't believe us because we they, they haven't been out for themselves to see everything and get what's going on. You know what I mean? Potentially. So, like, people don't even understand, like, it's like everyone has a part of a picture and they all have, like, see it really well at their part, but, like, no one actually connects everything. But when you connect uh, it, then everything makes more sense, but no one wants to connect it except for us, and then no one believes us when we say it. Karis, you're very wise. I agree with you completely. That really? there is a lot going on out there and everybody has only partial pictures. And I think it yeah. includes us four as well, though. But we only have partial pictures of what's going on. So I That's think true. all of us should be cautious, too, still. That we may have things to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, what what do you want to text us hi if they like t like take you away so that we know they took you away and it's an emergency tomorrow? I don't plan on being taken away. I'll put it that way. <laughs> okay. Uh, there is no chance I'm going to risk uh, my fate being in the beacon's hands. So, if that does happen, who would be in charge of Spire in your absence? I'm sure other members of the board would take over at that point, but I guess that would be their decision. Like, I just never met any of them. That's all. I introduced you before and walked you around, didn't I? On a We're not more, like best friends with them, you quick, know. Yeah. Yeah. On a deeper level. <laughs> I don't remember their names. Yeah, it's it's been a long time, so uh, I see, yes. I know okay. you, I, yeah, I got like the chart at home of like organization. I just haven't memorized it yet. Okay. You would give you'd let me take over all Spire, right, Mr. Trot? <laughs> I feel like I could trust you three with running this company for sure. Are you serious? I was just joking. <laughs> If you if you did it though, I would try to be the best boss. I'm glad to hear that. Um, but no, I do not plan on going anywhere, uh, and I don't think they would try to make a, a move on me tomorrow. But to move. Yeah. we will have to see how bold they're being. Okay. We'll check up tomorrow, then, because I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about that. I can give you a phone call if, as well if afterwards. Please. And... Yes. It's a jail phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! It's one call. This is we a don't... collect call from the beacon. Hey, Ms. Of the jail. <laughs> hey, Mr. Shaw, where do you live? Where do I live? Yeah. Uh, I have a little place around, just over there, down the road there. Red and, red and is it real, allowed. like, rich people stuff? Uh, I have a modest living. I don't have anything modest. extravagant. Oh, you don't have like a super night like this. Um, penthouse? no, it's nothing too special. Oh, okay. Well, and I just got curious. Originally, I was just wondering if you'd hide out at your house and if we should go to your house if something bad happens to like come see you. But then I was wondering what your house actually looked like inside. <laughs> I'll find you if I if I have we issues. Can, we can schedule to drop by your house tomorrow regardless, just to make sure you're okay. Right? Like looking in your house. Renan's Loki trying to help out Kara's there. <laughs> She's been talking about this for ages. Sorry, Every night I just like to see people's houses. You you don't have you don't have to, I just want I like people's houses. Tell you what, why don't we keep this professional looking for now? And if things progress where we can have a little more, I guess, less suspicions on us, then I can invite you over. Okay, now we gotta do it, you guys. <laughs> just, to get, just to get a dinner invite from Shaw. <laughs> you have now reached six hearts with Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> we can now go inside his house. <laughs> So, um, you know, I kind of thought about something, Shaw. Uh, yes. Maybe you're a little closer to getting the power you want. I mean, you can control free will. <sighs> I don't like the sound of that. Okay. That sounds creepy the way you say that, right? That's, yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, cool, no, man. just saying we've had that talk before. You, you don't want anything to have power over you, right? I, I'm like I'm just making this clear. Renan's not. This is not an accusatory. Renan is like yeah. just like very intellectual. Just a thought that came to his mind mm -hmm. that he's just saying out loud. Yes, I don't want to be put into a box. I guess. Uh, I think there is always more on the horizon that can be learned and experienced, and I plan to pursue that and not be stuck where I'm at so um, I'm gonna continue to learn and I think you three are gonna continue to learn and um, 
if you wait one moment, I think there's something that will help you. And he just uh, goes and leaves the office for a moment, leaving you through there. And it's that free will. That's it. Big bad guy's coming out. He's, he's coming out to kill us. That's it. It's happening. Oh Brendan's dead now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, so you guys are in the office for a little bit. Did we tell him we brought the car back? We did, right? We yeah. did, yeah. That's like the first thing we did. I feel like that was, I don't know, the whole mind thing is messed with me. I think I, I forgot. Literally the first thing Karis like, was so excited to say. <laughs> so. Hey, don't very important that, that was communicated. <laughs> Do you need to charge your phone, Raya? Yeah, I'm not plugging in. Here's an okay. extra thing right here above mine. Thank you. I'll plug it in for you. <laughs> Oh, okay. Do you like plugging it in? Yeah. Hey, okay. Karis, did, did, did you grab some sugar or anything lately? No. This is you just normal? Any? No, I don't. I'm just curious. Oh. I'm right. just really happy we could give Mr. Shaw the car and the armor and that we did something good. And I'm trying not to think about the Wanda thing. Yeah, yeah. that concerns me. I'm excited to call Carter and tell him about the Iron Fist. We can open it again. Oh, that's right. Why don't you call him while we're waiting? He walks back in at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I missed a shot. Mark's like, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> uh... <laughs> well, that would be a no-go on the deal. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> he walks back in and uh, approaches all three of you and says, uh, for your payment for your aid to the city. And he puts pouches into each of your hands. They're pretty heavy. Whoa! How much is this? Uh, Should the, I count it? Those each Use contain it. 200. Ask. Uh, 200 gold. So. Each? Each. Each <gasps> contains 200 gold. I'm rich! So. Uh, use it wisely for whatever purposes you feel you need it. And. Um, thank you for what you've done. You are truly helping the city, I believe it, and I think we'll do great things together. Thank you, Mr. Shaw. Thanks, Mr. Shaw. And I think that will also cover... I think that will also cover anything in case I happen to go away for a little bit of time, but I don't think it will happen again, so... <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Just, just do the thing where you're like, where you're like, oh, Wanda, you're the best, and like, make it feel like, like, make her feel like you are best friends with her. Maybe like her? No, like, like, That's you know, like, suck up to her. Yeah. Uh, Doesn't seem like Shaw's style, but. <laughs> Shaw, just think like Karis when you walk into that meeting. She, I'm telling you, Karis has surprised me how many times we've walked in with an enemy and have come out being like, well, that wasn't so bad. Uh, and not everyone, kind of had a relationship with them. <laughs> I will see how things go. That's right. <laughs> But thanks, Mr. Shaw. I can pay back so much money to James, then maybe he won't be so mad that he had to close the Iron Fist for, like, a go. better time. That sounds like a great use of it. Yeah. We should buy potions, and I'm going to buy some bullets, too. Wait, if I if it was 2,000-something monies, and then it, this much, how much is left? 2,000? That's Wait. about 10% of it. What does that mean? So you get nine more of these sacks like this, and you'll pay it all off. <gasps> just nine? Okay, so we gotta just kill, like, nine more nine of those big demons. <laughs> right? Like, one a month. It's like, yeah, we can we can get this done in a year. I like it. Yes. Good plan, everybody. Perfect. <laughs> uh, <sighs> you guys really aren't just, make, like, pulling a prank on me, right? You guys really don't remember the road? No. Okay. I still feel like, are you, yeah, I don't remember. And I remember a lot of stuff. But, Cares, this is like, remember when I, like, I, I think it was like the eye thing. I, I don't even remember now. There's one time I was right, and you said I was wrong, and I proved you right, and I can't remember what it was anymore. Well, <laughs> but it's like that, it's like you. that level that I'm, I'm sure. Okay. There's one Let time Let me know if you right. remember. I will. <laughs> Well, um, 
good luck to the three of you. Uh, I will see you, I guess, when I see you. Yeah. So you'll call us after we'll the out. meeting to let us know? Uh, yes. Tomorrow I'll call you after the meeting. Okay. Anything else I can do for you? Um, hey, Mr. Right. Shaw, just thanks for all the help you did with her this whole thing. Yeah, thank you. You're the best. Of course. I'm more than happy to help. Uh, and, again, Karis as well. Yeah. I mean, you can do it as you please. You can take some time to recover from what you just did. You can go and uh, see if you can help the moon out some more, whatever it is. But uh, if you need me for anything... Oh, I talked to them. I am currently not testing any subjects, so... Oh, that's true. So just okay. give me a little bit of warning, and we can see about doing something. Okay. Okay, yeah. She just, like, is staring, like, thinking. <laughs> <laughs> the first time she's been quiet this entire time. <laughs> Here is, uh... Do you want Ryan and I to give you a little time just to talk to Shopper mm -hmm. privately? Um, well, I don't... Just if you want to talk things out with him, that's all. Well, no, you guys don't all know everything now. It doesn't have to be super sneaky. I just... Trying to be respectful, I don't, that's all. We, if, we, if Spire is in trouble, though, and if Brother Hibbert's in trouble, is that more important right now? And that's your decision. To yeah. Make, so... Uh, Maybe, we, I guess it depends if if Mel was able to get a meeting. If she wasn't, then we might as well go. Or something. Your decision. Well, why is it my decision? It's mine. This you is like your whole company, Mr. Shawson. You followed me out to the Moon Elves. If you decide to go, I'll be with you no matter what. Oh, that's nice. Shaw, has there been any word on sightings of um, rejects or column? Has he been quiet? I have not heard anything. Any projects on getting the tower back up for Beacon? It seems like that's their main priority, is stopping a tower from going back up. You would probably have to speak to the people at the Beacon about that one, because... Uh... I have been very much out of the loop on that, so. True. But I would imagine they would want to do something with that. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll call you maybe when we figure out what to do. Wonderful. And Are you again, okay with leaving? Take as much time as you feel you need. Um, okay. If just give me a little bit of notice so I can make sure everything is set up here for my absence for however many days it takes. Okay. That makes sense. Mm. You okay, Renan? Yes. I'm, I'm deep in thought. I'm sorry. I'm... Oh, Renan. Uh, sorry. Oh, it's Raya. I was like, no, I'm just thinking. Yeah, no, I think we're all deep in thought. And I just had a yeah, like, next thought of maybe there's a, a number of demons that have like certain sections around the beacon so like if whoever Colin was working with has an area Zangul Stokes had the tower mm -hmm. Jargazon had the moon elf area what if whatever we came across with your mom he stopped himself from saying mobsicle uh could be another demon major demon and if we stop that maybe it's a, another region that controls Wait, stuff what, i don't know what did we i forgot i'm sorry out of game really fast what did we see exactly because i know we we saw the frozen like animals and stuff like that and obviously harris's mom what exactly did we see of like the thing that was doing it i can't remember i think we saw it we just like heard it. It. Yeah. and we started running right yep mm -hmm. i don't know why in my head i have like a giant ent in my head that I, have, out there, I, have, but... I have like a giant like cartoon witch 
Yeah, you have no idea what <laughs> it is. So. <laughs> yeah, like the one from Looney Tunes. <laughs> That's amazing. Know. None of you caught any sight of it, so. Yeah. Did we hear yeah. anything? We, had, like, we just yeah, heard it. It was it, like, talking. It heard us. So. Yeah. And it was like re- it was like breaking trees down. Like it was yeah. huge. Okay, that was so that was my question because I was like I couldn't remember if it was what exactly it was. Okay. It wasn't yeah, breaking trees. It was moving trees though. It wasn't breaking. They were less like oh, shaking. Okay. You didn't hear anything okay. actually okay. like topple over tree wise. And like Zilla's expression, like frozen, looked like really scared. Yes, that that's is another okay. detail. I remember that's right. right. So cartoon witch doesn't so much match with this really scared thing. You never like, know. Oh, like, what? Yeah. I mean, we found a you know an Easter bunny suit out there, so That's you never true. know what's out there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and back in game, um, that's kind of what I was thinking: is that different demons could have areas that they've like taken over or corrupted to the point of like claiming it as their own. And it's so a good on. thought as well. So. Okay. Um. If these ruined things do exist, maybe we have to find them for all the demons. Who knows? Kind of where my mind was going on that, yeah. Or, no, I don't know. Just could be anything. Not sure. Okay. Have you looked in in um, Stokes's office like a lot? Uh yes, I have. I just, I just wanted you guys to ruin in there. Did you destroy Rune and you didn't remember it? I uh, do not remember res- destroying any Rune, but if I destroyed it, potentially I would remember it. So. Oh yeah. Wait, but didn't he? Didn't he say he was like? He said he, he worked with Zangul. I was gonna say he was a Zangul, right? So mm-hmm. I think maybe maybe Zangul is the one who like is more powerful. And even if he was a demon, he might have been like a demon that we fought. On the mountain, which is like a kind of small demon, like not, yeah. not small, like powerful, but not like like the uh, wimpiest demon. Yeah, yeah like I. The wimpy, that'd be like. I know. And it's... you said. And you said the injections were Stokes' idea or your idea? Yeah. Stokes's. So it sounds like. The demon, put him in charge to start these injections, potentially to make someone like Colin be able to control people, right? don't know it's i mean there is no evidence of anything i can find in his office so i'm not sure where i could find anything okay. and shaw have you ever been tempted or visited by any sort of demons or i don't know weird <laughs> words or creatures trying to like tempt you to do stuff or ask you to do things differently with your business? I don't know. I mean, I guess besides Abdo, yeah. Stokes, uh, not that I'm aware of. It's kind of weird that, like, why would they put up all of this in the Tower and Spire and the injections and column? And not even try to mind control you or bring you into it, you know? Just interesting. I don't know. I just saw Inside. something. Sure. Sorry. Just check in. 15. He seems questionable, questioning what you're saying too. Just like, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, what if Wanda, remember we said maybe Wanda's demon? What if she is? Meeting? Meeting? What? I mean, not that you should, you know, we should be there, but what if you watched her come in from the street and then did your spec vision? Yeah. To make sure she's not a demon. Wouldn't sure. hurt, have, but, but I'll try. No, you have. I don't think you have. Didn't I do it when she came out to us in the street? Maybe I was out. Maybe I was out of them. Yeah, not when Wanda was with us, I don't think. It was like she came out when Jeremy was there, so I'm just surprised yeah. I didn't because I thought I was wanting to do that. But yeah, I'll try again. I don't know. Maybe there's a way they can mask that too. I'm not sure. <gasps> but then we could never know. 
I don't know. I really don't know. It's all. <laughs> you would know, Shaw. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Oh. Okay. But it's anything, been a long day. Anything else uh, no. you three need? Okay. No. Thank you, Mr. Shaw. I really appreciate that. All. I'll put it into your hands now on when you are wanting to do something again or how much time you want to take off to work on other things. Um, again, I'll call you tomorrow after my meeting with Wanda. And if you do end up showing up to, to your spec vision, Renan, uh, fine, it's up to you. What time is the meeting? Uh, I have it at 11 in the morning. In the morning, okay. Because you said you'd be at the tower anyway, right? So. Yeah. Just sit okay. down in the lobby talking to... Yeah, if you three are staying the night, that would be perfect. Then. Okay. Mr. Shaw, can I hug you in case you have to go away for a long time? <sighs> yes. Okay. I'm just, I'm Thank you! <laughs> also, I'm really impressed with your political speak. You've done really well with, like, not committing to anything to help us with this mind control thing. It's really impressive. I'm doing my best. <laughs> I don't it's want fun to watch. <laughs> I'm working on my ways to say things right and not inadvertently uh, making you do something you wouldn't normally do. That'd be do. real hard. Yeah. Oh, Karis would be not doing that at all. <laughs> oh, I probably accidentally have people punching each other in the face all the time, and they would be a mess. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the only one that I'm sticking to is yours, Renan, so. <laughs> huh? Yeah. The only command I have that I'm sticking to is the one for you. What command? To not go be judged by the beacon. Oh, I thought that was just my decision. You made me do that? I thought I didn't want to go do that. Did you forget me telling you that? Do we know, like, when people tell us to yeah, do something? They, they go, oh, okay. I thought it was <laughs> kind of like our mind, like, making up that, like, oh, yeah, we wanted to do that. I was like, oh, okay. Well, you want to because they yeah, said yeah. it. Yeah, you I, also I, I, know I, they I, said it. Like, you're like I'm saying, like I, I always like, agree. I, I want to agree with you. Yeah, Mr. Shaw, I think it's a great idea. That's so. great. Keep it that way. <laughs> well, I don't know what, why you say that's the only one you're keeping with because that's what I want to. So yeah, perfect. You could you, you could probably even <laughs> take it. You could probably even take it off, and I'd still want it. So ha ha. Okay, well, we should go. That's funny. Why don't you do what you want to do now? <laughs> Or with that, but not what I said to you, Renan. That one still stands. That was a good catch. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna go now. Bye, Mr. Shaw. Yes, I'll take care of Ezheel and, um, thank you, Lorith, I guess. Yeah, we brought Lorith in case you wanted to. what that guard say? Dissect. Well, it. No such dissect. Well, because we were just thinking we didn't, if people can, like, Aaliyah can, you know, talk to dead people. We didn't want her body just, like, lying around. Or someone to raise her back to life, or, so we just wanted to bring it here. Yes. Uh... Or you could study people that have worked with Jargazon and try and understand the influence on them. Sure. Maybe. I'm not sure what I can get from a dead person, but we'll yeah. see. Yeah. I may just end up burying her. Or burning or burning. I can see about doing that too. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, goodbye, you three. Bye. I, like, take the phones. I give Raya's <laughs> phone back. Okay. And you leave? All Is three it... of you? No one's staying behind? <laughs> oh, no. oh, wait, are we... Are we gonna talk to Ratha before we leave or no? Later. Yeah, they're downstairs. Okay. Well, what time, of, what time of day is it? It's pretty early, right? Uh, it's still a little before noon, I'd say. It's up to you guys. I mean, I can either go talk to her now, or I mean, I'm coming back here, so. I mean, it's kind of exciting thing to be like, hello, your people are saved oh, now. Oh, 100%. I'm just so... saying we have, we have a day. Maybe, you know, it's use the go time wise. Go tell her, go tell her, go tell her, go tell her. I miss Val, too. Yeah, let's go check on him. All right, so you're gonna go down to the I think second floor where the conference room is. All right, so you get in the elevator, 
Karis probably rushes to push the button. Yep. And you begin your descent. And we're going to take a 10 minute break here. <laughs> I'm going to choose a day to press the button before she does. For. <laughs> It will not. It does not. Like a, a dex check to see who gets. To... <laughs> uh, for uh, yeah, our elevator ride. Quick little ten minute break. So, uh, I do have a question of the day. It is a repeat question, but I'm curious to see people's answers because I think we have some new viewers from the last time it was asked, and I'm always nice. curious about learning something. So, uh, question of the day on the break screen. Uh, please go, feel free to answer that in the chat, and also make some friends in the chat too. If you maybe aren't familiar with somebody, say hi to them. Be like, hey, how's it going? I'm glad you're here or something. Make a new friend. Hi. So. Say it exactly like that. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> uh, and if you don't know what friends are, this is your opportunity to learn what friends are. So uh, we will see you all soon. Um, we'll be back shortly. See you soon, everybody.
Hello, friends. We're back. Back. Oh, uh, look at all the chat that happened over the break. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. So Super cool. Uh, but yeah, welcome back. We are ready to get back into our session where our players are currently in the elevator, lowering down after meeting with Mr. Shaw uh, to go down to the second floor to talk to the moon elves. So that's what we're going to pick up. Uh, door opens. You guys can proceed from there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna look for Val and my dad first. All right, sounds good. Hey, Ross, can I please talk to everyone? Thank you. The effect goes off for you, Karis. Um, and you walk in and spot amongst the crowd of uh, moon elves. You do see your father and sister who are currently kind of hanging out in one section where they're like cot and other things are there's like tables that have been set up for people and chairs and different areas for like recreation to happen um good there's a ping pong table there's kids who are drawing <laughs> they brought up a ping pong table it's amazing they... yes! <laughs> two more kids that are still like sick in a cot from the from all the candy yeah <laughs> they're still recovering from the shock of first time sugar in their system <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you find your parents, or your dad and your sister. So. Cool. I'll kind of run up, give him a hug. Um, yeah, he'll well, give you a hug back, and Val is starry-eyed as you approach. <laughs> Russell her hair. <laughs> well. Val! I think Hi. we did it. We, um, we stopped Chargazon, the demon that was at the temple. Um, Good work. And remember when I said M Mom's spirit was trapped? She's not anymore. She's at rest now. You helped her? I, I got a chance to say goodbye. And I'll kneel down to Val and she said she's really proud of you and that she loves you very much. I just give her a big hug. She'll hug you back, and she seemed pretty excited about that. Super excited to see the person you're going to become. I'm going to be the coolest. Just like you yeah. three. Your brother was so cool, Val. Like, he was all like, and the monster was like, and like just huge and like really gross, but he was like amazing. Well, good job. That's awesome. Can I look at um, Ren's dad? Does he look like younger? Uh, sure. Just give me a investigation or perception roll. Oh, because of the guy. Okay. I was like, what? I got a one. Oh no. Yeah, you can't tell. He's like squinting for a second. There's he just okay. kind of looks at you. What are you doing? Sorry. Can I try? Yeah. I was curious about the same thing, actually. You can okay. also look, yeah. Investigation, you said? Or perception, your choice. Wow. Um, 16. Okay. You don't really notice any difference. Sorry. Does it feel any different or anything? Uh, not right now, but I don't know. Well, the moon spirit's freed as well, as well as the sun spirit, so if you guys want to ever try and connect to Alasha, I mean, she actually she showed up so in pretty. person, yeah. I well, think she'll be here to protect our clan again. I think that is very good. I'm sure that will be very helpful for a lot of people. What about you? What about me? Have you ever had any connection to the spirits? Uh, I mean, a while back, there was more of it being part of our tribe, but I never had anything personally like you where you see her and stuff. Would you do like magic y stuff? 
Uh, I was not gifted in the, the arcane. Ah. Remember correctly, I don't think Ren's dad knows about Val, right? No, but, he doesn't. Yeah, I don't think so. Unless I'm forgetting that too. Um. Yeah. Well. Just saying. If you want to maybe reach out, and I don't know if if you ever wanted to. That's all. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. All I could do when I was younger is just make a little bit of light if I needed it. That's about it. <gasps> That's is so that cool, helpful? though. It could be useful, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to pull Val aside for a second. I just want to ask her a few things. Is that okay? Sure. You know, brother-sister thing. That's all. We're cool like that, and I just grab her arm and pull her away. <laughs> okay. Super suspicious. Yeah. Very I'll suspicious. just be like chatting up Skill and like, there's no tomorrow. He's talking just talking about how cool Ren is. Talk about cards. He's just your dad. looking over your shoulder the whole time at Ren and <laughs> Val. Uh, but yeah, you pull her away. What? What? Okay. What? What? And, and I kind of block my body from his sight. Like, I know you haven't... I don't know if you've told Dad yet about your power stop, thing. Sh stop, 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 stop. I'm just looking back, kind of worried. He should, probably should know now. You guys are safe, but I want to know if you can do it. Uh... Okay, here? Mm -hmm. So, she'll take her hand and she focuses and it transforms into a wolf hand. Mm. Interesting. Okay. And she'll quickly change it back. Uh, yeah. Well. Maybe if you're interested we can try and pray to Alasha tonight and ask her about that. Maybe you can Learn to control that boy. I mean, I can control it. I just did it. Yeah, but don't you want to do, like, more than just your paw? Or, like, other magic, like me? Maybe. Or, like, Karis? Maybe. I mean, that'd be cool. <laughs> Alright. Well, I just wanted to check. I didn't know if you guys would lose that or not. How would I lose it? I, there was, I, if the power is coming from this bad thing, I just wanted to know if it was a good thing or not. There was someone I met that lost their powers. So. Oh, okay. I don't want to lose You're doing this. Good. It's cool. It's just your buddy Ethereum could control people that can do that, so just worried that if anyone else knew that, he'd be in danger. Is he okay? Sure he is. I'm really sorry. What? He joined up with some really bad people, and they tried attacking us. And we tried saving everybody, but He didn't make it. Did you did you kill him? No. I, I wanted to save him. Who killed him? It doesn't matter. I'll try and... It doesn't matter. What do you mean you tried to save him? Who killed him? He was being tricked, I think, by Jargazon, the demon. Just like a lot of other people that have done a lot of bad things. The, wo the forest and the woods, they move and they're dangerous. He 
got in with some really bad people. But he was a nice guy. He, he helped. I'm really sorry, Val. I tried. But they killed one of our friends, too. So I almost... A lot of us almost didn't make it out of that one. She just, like, walks away from you crying. Yeah. Kind of stands up and looks at his dad. And he's going to walk over to Ratha. All right. Do I notice? No. Uh, I mean, it becomes obvious because when Skillen sees her run off, he will go after her and just leave you. He's not even paying attention to what you're saying, Karis. <laughs> Um, I, uh, I would probably follow Skill and I'd let him take care of it, but I'd almost be around if she, if I feel like she needs someone else. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm gonna make a, like, a move to Kara's to kind of, like, I know how she, like, shoots her message to someone. I'm gonna, like, do that to her, trying to be, like, message me. Hi. I told her about Ethereum. Oof. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Spoke to Ratha. All right. Ren plans on giving her time and make amends later tonight. You you look for Ratha and she already has her eyes on you. Like she's been tracking with you for a little bit, but. Uh, you start to approach her and she'll kind of walk over to meet you. Hey. Hello? What's happened? Uh, long story short, and he'll kind of go over the whole series of events of being kind of ambushed the, the day before and, and Lycor and Ethereum and then um, he he'll since they've already talked about it, he'll he'll tell her about Gwen Gwenastri as well and what she did and then um, explaining that she didn't remember things and that she was still kind of like coming out of the influence and then explain the whole temple stuff to her as well I see but, Alash is free now, so I don't know if the forest is safe yet. I'd like at some point maybe to go and check on those that are still there, or I don't know if maybe you want to at some point. I don't think the woods are safe, because other demons might go out, but at least the corruption that was there from the temple doesn't seem to be there right now. Well, that is good to hear. Yeah. But the people that killed those guards, they're dead. Good. Sorry I couldn't bring back Ethereum. He made his choice, I guess. Yeah. But... It was very clear that Savralira had fallen to the lies of Jargazan as well. And Gwenestri is trying to make amends and giving her a chance to redeem herself. I know there's a lot of bad blood between us, but I hope but maybe together we can start mending the bridges with the Sun Elves. In time. Maybe at some point. But. Apparently, you guys still have your powers then, right? To transform. 
Yeah, Saperlier lost hers. I wasn't sure if power to transform was from Jargazon or not. I don't know. I mean, I haven't really been using it, but I believe I still can. Let's be careful. Um, I'll probably stay here tonight. I know Gwynestri was able to bring Grathgur? Grathgor, right? Grathgor, yeah. Uh, phew, bad with names. Um, to able to speak to Saperlira, so I don't know if you'd be interested in trying to speak with Alasha at all tonight. Potentially. It's a different life than what I've lived, so I'm not sure how it will go, but maybe. Maybe at some point it will be something I'll pursue. Just figured it'd be a chance to give our people some hope. It's been a long time since I've had some. Yes. You did good protecting them. Thank you. You did more. None of this would have been possible if you didn't trust in me. Well, I didn't trust you at the start, so... <laughs> yeah, I get that from a lot of people. Um, Val's going to be really sad if you can just keep an eye on her and my dad. We have some stuff we have to do in the city, but I'll be back. All right. I just wanted her to hear it from me, no one else. Yes, I will make sure everyone is informed about what happened with the Theron. Thank you. Is there anything you guys need? We've been provided for quite well here. Right. Also going to put this out there don't need you or anyone else to say yes, but um, Mr. Shaw here with Spire is we've explained to you Colum and the way he can control minds. Shaw's trying to understand that power and find a way to stop it. Um, if anyone here in the tribe is interested he is trying to find people to test on, and I think part of that would possibly be injecting them, giving them powers to learn how to use this mind control thing. So it's a risk, but I wanted to bring that choice to you, and if that's something you or anyone else would be interested in, it's there. So let me get this straight. There is an option for powers of some sort. Mystery powers. I could kill you. Yep. You... What is the source of this? I, did you say it was... Same way I got it from the injections. Yes, but was the injection made of... It's a great question. Probably bad things. And Some good things. You are susceptible to this mind control because you received this injection and now you want to put more people under that possibility? I'm only bringing the choice. I don't want anyone to do it, but we have to stop calling. And that might be the faster way we can get people to help out but I would never ask that of anybody it's just a choice one that I made that I live with I will consider the your big offer risk. if I will tell other people about it well I didn't tell anyone else about it but you yeah. I trust your judgment
is questionable yeah. if it's the right choice to protect our people to put them in that kind of risk I know really much is but at the same time on the flip side we are in just as much danger as everyone else in the city well, I'll keep that in mind It's a choice that I make because I have a chance to help other people. But I would expect you to make your choice to protect our tribe. So I just want you to know I don't expect you to say yes. That's all. Yes, I'm going to do what's best for the tribe as the leader of this tribe. Thank you. Takes a lot of weight off my shoulders not worrying about the tribe. Okay. Well, sorry for all that. Uh, I'm going to go find my friends. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and he awkwardly dips out of that conversation. <laughs> okay. He'd probably just... He'll actually probably stand by the door knowing that Karis is kind of looking out for... Mm -hmm. Val. Not sure what Rai is up to. I didn't want to have everyone translate for me all the time, so I'm kind of just like chilling on the side. Okay. Watching. <laughs> so you're probably overstanding by her because she's back by the door. Waiting. Yeah, I kind of just like. But, um, but yeah, I mean, Karis, you watch, she's just crying and. Skillin's kind of there comforting her and they're talking, but um, anything else you want to do, anybody? Um, how long are they talking for? Like, is it the whole time he's talking to Ratha? Yeah, I mean, she just looks upset and he's just there trying to comfort her. Okay. Um... I would message her. Okay. And be like, hey, do you want me to come over there? Or do you want me to come see you later? Do you just want to be with your dad? So she just kind of gets it and she's like, I'm fine. Um, can I insight? Sure. 22. Okay. She's not fine. But does not seem like she has a bunch of interest to talk to you right now. Right. Okay. Um, I'll take so care as I'll... I need to go find a closet. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will leave her now and bother her later. Okay. Three of you kind of meet back up at the entryway to the room. Mm-hmm. How does Ratha seem? Does she seem, like, excited even that this is over with? Uh, she still seems pretty on edge from, like, what you can tell from watching her. Uh, so it's hard to tell. Can I stop by really fast with her? Sure. Okay. I just, she I'll just be just like, looks at you. Yes. Hey, are you like really excited now that it's over? You don't seem excited. It seems you have done something very helpful for everybody. So thank you. Oh, no, I wasn't, I wasn't looking for you to think. I was just wondering, do you feel better? Do I feel better? Yeah, that it might be done. I would love to return home. Oh. Uh... I guess staying here isn't, like, that fun. No, this is not ideal. True. Okay. Um, okay! That's it. <laughs> All right. Ares has learned how to dip out of conversations like Reddit. <laughs> okay. 
Wait. I thought you'd be more excited, but this is fine. You don't have to be, I guess. It's like, we saved your people and all that, but sure. Nah, I mean, they're stuck in a building. I, I wouldn't... Yeah, no. They also have not they... experienced anywhere near the level of Jaros that got involvement that the Sun Elves have. So right. That is true. That is true. Okay. It's still a he said, she said sort of like... It's, mm -hmm. it's very much like... You saved us from something. I don't know what you saved us from, but and, and we'll it's not see. even like there's any reversed effects of aging or any like evidence at the moment that something's different. So, yeah. so yeah, we'll okay. see. Well, I was I like walk over to the other two, and as we leave, I'm like, well, that was more awkward than I thought. How did you tell Val? She seemed really like no, she didn't want to talk. Yeah, she didn't take it well. And just kind of rip the band-aid off. Ooh. I thought, I mean... Yeah. It was her best friend. Yeah, no, no it makes it, right? sense. I didn't tell her it was Gwenastri, so please. Who'd you please. tell her it was? You? Just that it happened. She's gonna think it was one of us! We'll talk about it later, but... We're like best friends. I don't want her to think I killed him. I can tell her I killed him. No, 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 no. Listen, even if she doesn't get it right now, like there has to be some way, like we can't lie to her. Don't lie to her. She doesn't deserve Especially, that. You're right. Especially even if we don't want her not liking Gwen, but at the same time we could even if she, if she kind of understood the context of, like, mind control and Gwen was really confused and... Yeah, it was an accident. Then... That's what I told Ratha. Yeah. 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 She was just so... really upset. Or just, yeah, confused and scared. So, um, yeah. I, I think that the more... We don't have to tell her every detail, but I think the more truthful with her we are, I think she can handle it. And I think that she deserves that. I yeah. am just done perpetuating any hate for the Sun Elves. Yeah. That's what I really want to protect right now. I just think it would be worse if we lied about it and then they found out no, later. That doesn't right. help anything. Yeah. Yeah. I, told but Ratha, I get but it. It's hard. I just would rather Val be mad at me for now. Maybe being family eventually would help her. But no, you're right. She's old enough to be told the truth. You should go tell her right now. Do it later tonight. Tonight? Okay. We have a city to talk to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to call Carter? We could call mm -hmm. Carter. And then you want to call Mel? Yes. Calling. Break. Um, okay. Let's go first. We can both call at the same time. <laughs> Ready, go. Right. We can erase. Talk in two conversations. Okay, over. roll initiative to see whose conversation goes off first. <laughs> roll initiative. Uh, oh, I, didn't I got forget. a one. Okay. Okay, I got a seventeen on the die. So. All right, Ryan will be going okay. first. Okay. I call Mel. All right. So yeah, both of you have very limited charge because you were not in Shaw's office for long enough to fully charge your phone, but it is partially okay. charged, so you can get a phone call off hopefully. Um, but you give a call over to your sister, and it mm -hmm. rings. And she'll pick up. Uh, Raya? Hey, um, just curious if you had any update on what we talked about last time with, you know, army rats and stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, I think I can get a meeting for you. You just really? need to tell me a time and I'll see if it works. Um, I guess any time tomorrow, maybe? Tomorrow? Yeah. Are you free at all tomorrow? Or is the person free? Uh, Who will I be talking to, too? The leaders of the Roaming Rats? Yeah, do you, have, do you know their names or no? Um, I mean, there's a few of them. I don't know okay. who you'll be talking to specifically, if they'll all show up or just a couple of them. Okay, I'm just curious. There's like a whole group of them that lead it. Okay. So, yeah, does tomorrow work? And can, can all my friends I'll come, try. or do they just want me to be there? Uh, I can try. I'll call you back, I guess. Okay, let me see. 
Yeah, just let me know. Okay, and then other, other thing, last question, I guess. Have you heard from Amber at all, or no? Uh, she stopped by uh, yesterday for a little bit, had some dinner with us. Okay. She mentioned anything, like, uh, about the Lightfoots or anything involving me and my friends, or no? Um, I mean, she did mention how you three are working with the Rejex, but... Okay, okay. just curious. All right, thank you. <laughs> Didn't know there was any sort of intel on that that I could, uh... I mean, are you but... working with the Rejex? Um, I mean, we've... We've worked with a lot of different people, I guess. Um, not... No, not really. No, not really. We've okay. Met, we, well, we've, we've met some of them, but, like, I haven't... We haven't, like, been working with them. Did you talk about the box guy? Yeah. I'm assuming. What about Colin? Like Colin's rejects. Oh, oh, oh those are answering cool. really shady. Wait, wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was thinking, I was thinking the guy with the box, like, what she saw us, like, talking, like, because that was a, another branded person. I was thinking she meant the guy, that guy with the box and stuff. I guess he was with Colin, too. He was also, he was with Colin, though, so. That's right. Okay, so I amend that. Um, we were talking, we had contact with someone, but we, we rejected any sort of offer to work with them, so no, we're not. Okay, you don't work with them. Okay. No. We're okay. trying to kill them, actually, so we're not worth Or the leader. You're trying to kill the leader? Mm. Well, it would be nice if he were, yeah, he kidnapped a bunch of our friends and stuff, so we're not, no, we're not working with them. I mean, I'm just saying a lot of people think you work with them, so if you brought in a dead leader of the rejects, <laughs> that might do a lot to clear your name. Yeah. Do you... Uh trying to find actually where he is and things like that too so that, that's something we've been trying to do for a while okay help. anything anything less than that what do you can you think of anything that would be less than that that would help <laughs> i don't what know second idea <laughs> okay just curious all right well let me know if you find anything else out and uh, about tomorrow but um I mean, potentially any dead rejects might help i don't know maybe the leader i don't know okay I don't think I can do that in 24 hours, but I'll see what I can find. Okay. Yeah, don't work with the rejects, Raya. No, I haven't. I have not. <laughs> Will not. Well, okay, never mind. <laughs> anyway, I'll, uh... Because, okay, here's, here's my... Wait, pause for a second. Yes. Here's my problem, because we, we technically were working with them, because we, you know, we got mind control. So I'm not sure how much, like, people know about... Do people know that, like, the mind control is even a thing? Is it, like, public knowledge? We tried to be for... vocal about it, but people don't believe us. Okay, because as I say, so yes, I, I, we're working with Regis. So I'm trying to, like, be truthful, but also, like... Yeah, then people you are like, decide oh, yeah, yeah. where the line is on what you want to say. I don't know. I don't know. Because I feel like no one's going to believe me. Okay. I'll just, I'll, yeah, never mind. Back in. Um, yeah, let me know about tomorrow. Thank you for your help. I appreciate it. Okay. Too soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Meanwhile, Meanwhile, at the exact same time, Karis does a phone call. <clears throat> that that one. No, no, no. That that's not Cardi. No. Nope. Mm -mm. Go down one, one more. Not Which that one? one. That one. That one right there. I go nope, up. Go back up. <laughs> this one. Yeah, I'll just. I don't. I just. And I just press the button for it. <laughs> so Carter. Give a phone call over. What, Karis? Hey, it's been a couple days. You can go longer, you know. <gasps> That's so mean, especially after all I've done for you and all the people that were after us. What do you want? We're dead what now. What do you want? I'm telling you right now. What do you want? Your battery is dying, Karis. <laughs> We, we, we can open Iron Fist again. Are you sure? I think so. Well, that's good I news. Know. I heard it fall. I heard your rock fall from up here. Oh, <laughs> that was, no. That was a loud fall. Oh, I'll have to get it later. Oh, wait. Did it, did it break? Did it? Hopefully not. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. <laughs> um, no one I heard. That's a big rock. <laughs> yeah, it's a big one. Um, sorry. No, well, okay. Well, okay. You tell me what you think. So, the the main the sun elves that were after us 
are not after us anymore. The main people that were threatening to kill people are dead now. And Jar's are gone. That demon is also dead because we killed it. Okay. So, so that really means we can only, open? I think so. The only thing, though, Carter, the only thing is that Column still knows about the Iron Fist and probably might want you at some point. And then, you know, I'm still connected with, with Dad. So that's still the only danger, but it's not like all the billions of danger that we had to, like, close before, you know? So do you have to kill Column first before we can open, or...? Uh I don't know. I didn't, I'm asking you. I don't know. I'll fight him if he comes and shows up. Oh my gosh. Uh, he, I don't know. He I mean, are know. you and Glowboy gonna start fighting again, too? So we can start fighting? Well, we're still on a break, are we? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. It's getting boring here. Not being on a break, though. Well, yeah, you don't probably talk to anyone all day, Carter. That's yeah, I want to fight some people. You all the so. time, because you probably are so lonely. Oh my gosh, I'm fine. But I don't. So I don't know about fighting still, because there's a lot of bad stuff still that we gotta take care of. Also, we might get like fried by the beacon at some point, like me and Run and Raya. So you remember Wanda? She's like even more mad at Mr. Shaw and Spire right now, and everyone's mad at us, and they don't believe us. Do you want me to and go beat her up? Oh my gosh, that'd be so funny. Could you? No, just no, don't do it, don't do it. This could be worse. <laughs> Wait, don't really. I was kidding. We'll see what happens. Oh my god! I wanted to punch her a couple times too. So, but anyway, um, yeah. So, we're still real busy. Fine. But... With opening, Just drinks I don't know. and girls. That's all. Yeah, 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 yeah. But at least your dad won't be mad anymore. Was yeah. he mad? I'll tell him we can open up. Yeah, okay. He'll be happy about so, that. Just, just be careful with Column and stuff. That's the only thing in the rejects. But that's yeah, it. I'll beat him up if he shows up. So. Remember to plug your ears when you see him. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, so maybe I'll come over at some point. Because I got so much money for your dad. Like, so much. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So did I make your day or what? Oh, my gosh. Are you done? <laughs> <laughs> did I, though? Bye, Karis. Hangs up. Surprised your yeah. phone didn't die before you ended that conversation. That was impressive. I just wanted him to tell me good job and he didn't, so whatever. That means he did say it, otherwise he would say you did a bad job. Right? Actually for him, that's kinda true. Yeah. Also, that's a really good idea. Why don't we just tape our ears shut and just go fight column? Like duct tape it or something. Yeah, just plug your ears. Yeah, just yeah, I don't know. can't hear each other. Can't Unless it gets in your brain and it doesn't matter if you hear it or not. Yeah, that's fair. But. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Amazing. So, your phone calls are complete. Anything else you'd like to do? Um. Just, just for. Wait, are we. Like for the whole day, or do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, today, the rest of the day, you just gonna I hang out. I went to buy a potion and some bullets. Can I get bullets somewhere, or do I have to get them at Spire? Spire is, is oh, no, the energy, shots, yeah. energy shots, so you'd have to okay. go through Spire somewhere. Um, and then, if you want to go for potions, you have to go to the market. Okay, can I get? I'll get bullets first because I feel like I'm. I was sort of bad at keeping track, but I'm like low, so I'm gonna just buy 50 more or clip or however much it was. Okay. Let me look at the prices on those. Still. Mm. Uh, you're going to go up to Mr. Shaw and ask him? Yes, I forgot. I'm like, hi, can I get... I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> All right. Uh, for 50 more. Mm. Let's see. He will sell you that for... 
Uh, 50, 50 gold. Uh, okay. So, I'll sell you a clip. So. I'll cough it up. Minus my 50 gold. Ugh, the money goes so fast. Go ahead and just take 25. I'll split that with you. No. My bullets. You don't have to split with me. Uh, you're using it for the group. Yeah. <clears throat> It's fine. You sure. Yeah, I got. I, 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 I've been saving up some. It's fine. You guys okay. split the potions last time, so. Okay. Hey, you guys. Is it okay if I do most of the money for James? Yeah, that's fine. If you guys do a potion, like if you buy a potion, and then next time maybe I'll help. I just haven't okay. given any monies to James in a long time, and I feel like it might help him not be mad. Yeah, Wait, I'm sure you'll be happy if you there's the things opening it back up too, but... Yeah. I it's take fine. 68 gold and I put it in another bag and throw it to Karis and be like, add that to it. Why? <laughs> Do you guys get out of your debt quicker? I mean, thanks, but like, don't you need to buy stuff? Yeah. I'm gonna buy a few potions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Potion was 50, right? Am I crazy? I think what? that's how much you paid last time, yeah? Okay. Unless we can negotiate. Negotiation. Um, yeah, okay, after Spira, I will go to the market and get, because I want I, I will give me one potion for now. Okay. Well, thank Did we you. give a plant to the one lady, or did she already use up the plant that we gave her? Like, was it, like, something she was working on? And she might have more potions later. Yeah, we happens. gave her we gave her multiple plants, and then she said to come back. I think if we needed some, but she made us a couple. So it might be something to go back. Oh so, yeah, we could always stop by for sure. Potentially, right. especially if we don't have anything going on today. Mhm. Mm that will take a little bit to get out there, but. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I want to see my dad and stuff. If they're gonna move you... back in, maybe I could help them. I was thinking. If I can use the car today, I can go out there and you can hang out with your dad. Well, Mr. Shaw let us. Here's our yeah. car, Dad. He didn't say we could use it after. Well, I'll go ask if you want. We proved ourselves trustworthy by bringing back the car we lost, and now we get to Weeks use it. Weeks later! Now we get to use it. But, um, I know you're worried about your dad being connected still. If, if you want to offer to your dad to stay at the apartment, just a thought. I tried. He just didn't really want to. That maybe, it, yeah, maybe I can try again. Especially it might be okay I'm now. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, Carter would protect him, so. And it sounds like Colum is kind of being respectful as far as like how he does things. I mean, respectful. He's not taking, you know, your dad and turning him to a guard for us to kill. You know what I'm saying? Yet. That's just because he doesn't have an injection. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying so far. He's mm -hmm. almost like it's a... He has an agenda, but he's not trying to hurt other people that aren't a part of it, you know? Just saying. Except, yeah. like, killing my dad that one time. It wasn't him. He told him to kill anyone that gets in his way. Right, so but it was it technically him. It wasn't like directly, you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't like a direct, like, oh, that's her dad. I'm gonna take him out. It was just a, a blanket statement, and he got no, got in the way, you know. I'm just saying, he's so far. It seems like he's doing a little bit better than Lorith as far as being super bad about it, you know. No, they both suck. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They both really suck. <laughs> okay. Just to try. Trying to try his best. I tried. <laughs> Terms of war. Not going there. They both suck. All right. <laughs> Same level. <laughs> what did your sister say? Conversation later. What? Oh, what yeah, she's uh. Cause I'll, I'll kind of waltz back in. Um, so we can get our meeting with the leaders of the roaming rats tomorrow, possibly. Oh, when? What time? Is it after the meeting with Shaw? Yeah, I think so. I just said I could, she's supposed to call me with the like, details, but um, <clears throat> yeah. So hopefully that, that can at least be something, a starting point. We can see if there's anything we can do for them to we'll put a good word in for us. 
Also, okay. apparently everyone, everybody everywhere thinks you've been working with the rejects, and I don't know... I don't know if we should, uh... Talk about the mind control aspect? Because now that Shaw's doing the mind control thing, I don't know if this is gonna look... Well, yeah, we gotta talk about the mind, because then everyone saw us, like, trying to kill Hibbert. Yeah, we I mean, he's saying that from in it. Way. Yeah, I just don't know how much... I don't know. I feel like I feel like there's a lot of things stacked against us. So I'm hoping there's something that we can do to prove that... I don't know. I think it would look more shady if we didn't tell him. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything we can think of that would help people believe the mind control thing? Because obviously they're not going to really believe Shaw. I don't know. Hibbert's on the, on the outs, too. Okay. I mean, people saw Carter get cured from the mind control thing. Like, mm -hmm. at the beacon. there was, It wasn't just Hibbert doing that. There was, like, tons of guards that watched it happen. And watched yeah, him go from, like, not talking really, really bad. I mean, there was that whole group of beacon people that, like, captured him. Yeah. And then saw him yeah. be better. So, I mean, some I people have to believe that. I think what it's going to come down to is telling our story and putting our actions where our mouth is, is offering to these groups what they need and something that they, something we can do for them yeah. in, in exchange for this. Uh, and mm -hmm. it might not work, but we can at least try and tell our story and eventually they'll understand we're telling the truth, but... Yeah. I can't think of anything that we can I, there's no leverage that we can offer them or evidence right yeah. off the bat yeah I was thinking the same thing I just didn't know if we could I mean if people would be willing to trust <laughs> Shaw and Spire then yeah he could literally show that he mind controls us and that he could free us from it but not yeah. many people have faith in Spire right now because Spire created a column and we could be fa easily faking like a mind control thing with Shaw if we're all in it together. So right. Okay. I mean, someone could literally be like, "Hey, pretend that you're not being mind controlled until you have an opening to kill mm -hmm. someone." Yeah. Yeah. Too. Okay. Just curious, but anyway, hopefully, roaming rats will be something that we can. And I guess we can talk with them. See how the what meeting about goes. The and... What? What about the skull crushers? Remember, we said we can't even touch them till we figure out roaming rats. Because yeah. they're no one's gonna listen to like skull crushers and lightfoots don't like us right now, at okay. all. Okay, so we're not so, even gonna try until after roaming rats. Right. Yeah, like if we have, have at least yeah. yeah a little bit of like some pe some people vouching for us, maybe it will help. Okay, just but, hope we're not wasting time. That's all. I think strategy just... may be more important than even just... I agree. You know. Yeah, I'm just putting that out there. I wish we could have brought Jarzagon's body back to the city and been like, Look, people! He is so big and gross. Yeah, and I don't know who's... It would be safe people to travel out to the temple to look at, you know, yeah. all of it, so... Hmm. I mean... Just crazy. Why would we bring back a demon body if we were, you know working for demons and under mind control of people. This doesn't make sense. Yeah. Um, okay, so then we can figure out what to do with Momsicle after the Lightfoot. I mean, not Lightfoot, Roaming Rats meeting tomorrow. Yeah, it sounds like maybe not risking leaving the village until we know when this is going to happen might be the best idea. Or leaving the town. City, sorry. City? Yeah, what's up? What village? I got my village on my mind, sorry. Oh, yeah. I could like, see that. Like, going to go check on them. I, I don't think it's worth risking yeah. leaving the city. I even thought going to go... I'm trying to remember her name. It's, it starts with an H, right? What's, what's the lady? Helen? The, oh. Helen. Golly, my names are off today. Um... Even that see, could be risky. This is why we, we weren't we were doubting that you didn't remember all right, that. Was all right, thing. names are different than major events. Okay, <laughs> that's a player thing. Here. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I know. It's good. What's Renan's intelligence? That's why, work, that's why it works so well. It's only a zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's average. It's 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 it's. I mean, mine's a nine, so Renan's better than me. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, I think staying in the city for now is a good idea. But so we can just figure out maybe tomorrow. And if they even if Mr. Shaw's gonna be okay or not. You're yeah. still gonna we can we can check and make sure he's not a demon. I mean not Mr. Shaw. <laughs> uh um, Wanda. For sure. Okay. So we're going to the Iron Fist? And get potions too? Oh, yeah. yeah. On the way. Go to the marketplace yeah. on the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So you guys uh, head down to the entryway of Spire Tower, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and step out. The guard kind of like opens the door, to let you out, and um, just kind of give you a, a little nod as you <laughs> salute them. <laughs> and, uh, you guys step out into the into the day, uh, and there's a, a light snow that's begun to fall at this point, and. You guys kind of yeah, bundle so up and, and continue to walk towards the market, which isn't too far from here. Cool. Um, heading there, you arrive and kind of look around. And you do notice there is a presence of Beacon Knights who are kind of going around, attending to people, um, talking to them. And uh, you also do spot a the potion seller that you are used to seeing off in the corner where they're at. I'm going to be wearing my shield right now. Just want to put that out there. Okay, so you have your shield out on your arm? Yeah, just on my arm. Yeah, weapons are away, but okay. shield out, and then he's... Well, yeah, I'll, I'll hand 100 gold to uh, Raya to buy the potions. I'm just going to be keeping my eyes out and like watching them and seeing if anyone's kind of keeping their eyes on us or anything like that. Anything suspicious. Yeah. Uh, so, as you do kind of walk into the marketplace, you guys are almost immediately noticed. There is so definitely awkward. people who spot you and many who keep their distance from you. Um, you guys Brennan's can give me a perception just... roll if you'd like. Is there Brennan's just like... <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Renan's like using his old marketplace contacts and like just trying to act normal and casual and trying to like smooth uh-huh. things over, but realizing it's not happening. Twelve thirteen. Twelve thirteen. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. So yeah, it's eyes are on you. It's a little uncomfortable feeling. Uh, Renan, you're kind of looking around. Uh, you do spot Brother Jeremy. He is here in this oh, crowd Jeremy! of people. Um, he, uh, is just kind of going around talking to people, but he doesn't look, he's not looking at you guys. Yeah, I'm not going to go out of my way to talk to him unless he comes up, because I know we got him in trouble last time. But, uh, the potion seller is there too. You guys heading potion seller somewhere else? Potion. Uh, you said you get, give me a hundred gold, so I'm buying two. Yeah, you can buy two for me, since I didn't buy any last time. Okay. I'll be back up for Raya. Okay. And I, I'll buy, buy one, one more. Yeah. yeah, I'll buy one myself. So I'll do. All right. So you approach the the lady who's working there, and she's yeah. like working on something, and you come up, and she hears you approach. She turns around, looks at you. Uh, what do you want? Hi. Hi. Just looking to buy three potions, please. Three health potions. Okay. Um, we are currently uh, in a shortage, so it's a hundred gold each. Oof. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, because obviously, can I get inside her? Because I feel like she's. Hello? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a giant motor outside my apartment. What's going on? The beacons is rolling up with like West Side Story, just <laughs> leather jackets. <laughs> All right. Okay. Scary. I'm gonna insider because like she's lying and she's being discriminatory towards us. Um twenty two. Oh uh, yeah. She looks very nervous and like she does not like you guys very much. Okay, I'm I'm gonna just like look, I know there are you know, pe- people are trying to say things about us, but we really are trying to help the city and we've done like we really need these potions to try and help. Um, can you please just get them for the, the normal price, or maybe just a little bit more, but we can't afford 100 gold each, please. We, um, 
Like, yeah, I get that the people are talking about us, but we've like, we've bought from you a ton before. We've never been like mean or anything. Um, she just kind of like looks over your shoulder at some beaconites that are in the area and, uh, one, two, actually it's 150. I realize I'm shorter than I thought I was. Is it, does she seem nervous that the beacon people are there too? She seems on edge for some reason. Hmm. Do I remember her name? Like, is this someone I used to interact with often in the market? Uh, there's like a crew that would circle through this stand. It's, uh, these aren't the people who even make it. It's more of like a hired person to take this role for the day. But. Gotcha. Um, can I ask a question? Uh, all the beacon people around are there people that we recognize of guards who like rescued us originally um looking around uh you don't see anybody like that these those were more kind of like the guard guards and these are more kind of like the cleric -y people okay who are wandering around gotcha well maybe we shouldn't right now I don't want to cause any trouble for you. I'll just right. walk away. Um, anywhere else that sells potions or no? This is the potion seller. Okay. Ooh, that's rough. That's rough. That's rough. That's rough. Uh, we can just maybe. I say this really softly if we're, we're away from the stall. We can, Maybe. we can, let's leave the marketplace first, yeah, just in yeah. case. Yeah. Wait, you guys, I want to say hi to Jeremy. I'm going to message him and then just say hi, but, like, in his head, so we, no one sees. Be careful, we put him in trouble last time. I don't want to cause trouble here. Oh, that's true. Can I, like, but it, does he what? see us now? I uh, um... No, he seems pretty into what he's doing talking to some people wouldn't hurt to get an update just be careful yeah um is there any like anything i can like position myself by so that it's not obvious i'm like casting a spell in front of everyone you know type of thing uh stalls give or, like, me a stealth roll things. just to see if you can get enough cover with your movement around so stealth roll I use my sorcerer points for her. What? <laughs> 20. I got subtle spelling. Oh, you cannot do that for her. No. <laughs> <laughs> 20, okay. So you feel like you're hidden. You can shoot okay. your spell off if you like. Okay. I'll just be like, hey, Jeremy, it's Karis. We're at the market. I just saw you wanted to say hi. I hope you're doing okay. And you watch as he just kind of like looks around. Um, hi, Karis. Uh doing all right i got to talk to brother hipper for a little bit i do it again how's he doing is he okay no not really uh you care to elaborate <laughs> uh this is weird but um he just doesn't like what's happening right now he just seems concerned um, okay, Jeremy, I just was doing this because I don't want you to get in trouble. Is there anywhere we could talk that you won't get in trouble or they won't see? Uh, I'll be in the alley way over here. And he starts walking over. Okay. Uh, Take the long way. <laughs> yeah, can we, like, loop around or something so we're not, like, just directly walking over to where he's walking to? Okay. Um, I need you to get roll deception checks, everybody. <gasps> Nat 20. Um, so 22. 22. 21. 21. 20. Look at you, deceptive Three. beacon babies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Beacon toddlers. Beacon toddlers. <laughs> So you guys uh, start kind of wandering around and uh, make your way eventually to where he is. Um, and he's in the alley. Oh, hi. Uh, How are 
Tony, are you okay? I'm okay. It's. <laughs> What's going on? Like, why does everyone? I mean, you're gonna charge us 150 to... bucks for potions. Yeah, they won't. No one wants to sell us anything anymore. Yeah, I don't think you guys are very popular right now. Um, I like you still. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Jeremy. We like you too. Do you want me to go buy you potions after this? Oh. Is it possible? I mean, if you could, I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, I feel like I might get in trouble no matter what, because I'm not really... I don't know. I, I talk to Brother Hibbert a lot, and I like him, and I feel like yeah. that's going to get me in trouble. So, um, you can like, sneak over to see him or something? I mean, we live in the same building. Uh, oh, true. Yeah. So you're saying you're not Wanda's favorite person? <laughs> no... Not since I talked to you guys the last time. She's not. Yeah. Sorry about that. I I don't know. I, I'm thinking about leaving, maybe. I'm not sure. But, um... Yeah. Brother Hibbert said something that makes a lot of sense. That he doesn't like how it's becoming more about what will make people happy than doing the right thing. So... Yeah. Um just got me worried yeah that makes sense we think it's weird too like especially just all the stuff that's been going around i mean yeah i don't know i mean you guys helped um, me you guys brought me stuff when i was out doing my little thing out the city and you guys have done good things right yeah um jeremy don't go spreading this around but we killed another demon like a couple days ago. Really? Like the one I'm thinking of. Like with all the roots. The one making the forest sick. Yeah. yeah. Why can't we tell those people? It's a good thing. Well, yeah, that is a good thing. It's just we weren't supposed to leave the city, so we're trying to figure out when, oh, you know, yeah. to say it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can tell, you can tell Brother Hibbert. Maybe it'll make him feel better. Okay. Like there's still stuff happening. I think he'd want to know anyway, because we were talking to him about it. Okay, yeah, I can try talking to him. If you do see him and make sure make sure you're careful, you can let him know we're trying to gain allies in the city. If there's anybody that he thinks might be someone that could help, we can yeah. go try. If we see you again. You know, don't go out of your way, we don't wanna get you in trouble. Yeah. Um Maybe I know somebody. What? Who? Um. Hold on, I gotta find the name. <laughs> I love when Mark does his voice. Maybe. It's, I know Jeremy's voice is like one of my favorites. It's so cute. <laughs> Where is oh, it? I'm uh, searching his databanks. <laughs> he keeps Staring. mentioning. <laughs> He keeps saying he wishes he could like find out more about Brother Curtis and why he left. Oh, the guy oh. before him? Yeah. So I don't know. Like I don't think he died. At least not that I know of. I think he just left. I don't know where he went. Hmm. Brother Curtis. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where we'd find him. But. but yeah, I guess it's not Brother Curtis anymore. It's just Curtis. But. But yeah, okay. um, maybe you could try to find him and see if he can help you. Brother Curtis. Cur hmm. Curtis. He's not a brother anymore. Oh, right, 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 right. Formerly Brother Curtis. Okay. Yeah, he was used to be the leader <laughs> before Brother Hibbert. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, where I know. Where he... people... Sorry, Sorry what? I'm sorry, you got you were a little bit delayed. I'm sorry. Oh, um, just he he did always talk about. I heard him talk about but like he missed him too, and he wished that he was here. So, he sounds like he was really cool. Yeah. So I don't know why he left, but mm -hmm. um, maybe he can help. I don't know where we'd start with that. Yeah, where do people? Where do you? 
people who leave the beacon go usually? Are they like, is it, is it okay to leave the beacon? Like, are they, you know, kind of shunned or are they fine? I don't know. I mean, I don't know why he would leave even. Like, if he would stay in the city, if it was for a bad reason, if he was hiding something. I, I don't know. I don't even know who yeah. he is. I never met him. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. That was before I was ever part of the, the beacon. Yeah. If you, if you, I mean, if you're able to next time, just uh, if you talk to Brother Hibbert at all, maybe you can ask him where, if he, what he knows about Riley Curtis and where his, where he is now and. Well, he doesn't know anything. That. That's what he said. Yeah. He doesn't know anything? No. No, he doesn't. He just disappeared. They don't know what oh, happened. Oh, that's right. Him. Okay. I don't know where he went. No. Where he is. What happened. Anything. Mm-hmm. So. So. Maybe other people know? <clears throat> I'm not sure. If we ask around. Yeah. Hey, Shaw. If people will talk to us. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, Shaw might know something. Or something like the roaming rats. People that are a little bit more on the sneak. That know mm -hmm. the city better than us, you know? That's true. Yeah, Maybe. So but, yeah, do you want me to buy you potions or do you need anything else? Do you want me to tell Brother Hibbert anything? Are you worried you're going to get in a lot of trouble if you do that for us? It's okay. I'll get in trouble. It's fine. Jeremy. Jeremy, you're just the best. <laughs> I wish... Hmm. Yeah. I mean... You can... If you see Brother Hibbert, you can just tell him that we're trying really hard to help him. And you can tell him about the demon. Maybe they all cheer him up a little bit. But. I'll give him the hundred gold. That I had. Well, all right. Wait, I'll, give him, I'll just give him the hundred that we had. I'm just like, can we use three potions, please? Mm -hmm. and, uh, I'll uh, cast guidance on him. Like, as he was walking away, give him just a little extra boost. Okay. Hold it for a minute. So he just kind of walks over. You watch him approach the potion seller and talking to her. And she packages up some potions and pays her and starts walking back. Uh, what about the shortage? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she lied to us? Hey, wait a minute. There's no short. I don't think there's a shortage, you guys. You stop over to her. Raya, you always yeah. say you're a good judge of character. I'm not so sure about that. Yeah. Right <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm actually a big fan. Here you guys go. Um, oh my gosh, you're the best. Inside is the three potions. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Jeremy. Appreciate Easy. that. I'm just trying to help. Because I know you guys aren't awesome. bad guys. I know what they're saying isn't true. For real. Hey, actually, I was going to ask you, I don't know how much you talk to other people in the beacon, but you know how people think that, like, one of the biggest things is that we were bad because we were trying to attack Brother Hibbert that one time, but we were brainwashed? Yeah. So, one thing, though, it's like people aren't believing it, but there's, like, a whole group of people that rescued us from the beacon that saw the brainwashing happen, like, earlier to one of my friends. And they saw Brother Hibbert heal him and be normal. So, yeah. why aren't those people saying anything? A lot of people think you guys are tricking everybody. Like, you're pretending to so try like, to get in and be able to do stuff. Oh, so it's like the one that happened before was real, but we're faking this time? I mean, a lot of people don't believe it's real at all. Like, so, Carter might be in trouble? Maybe. I don't know. They're not really talking about him. They're talking about you three. I mean, Carter, when he was being brainwashed, attacked Karis's dad. For him to fake that and then be helping us now. I don't believe them, but... No, yeah, I, I know, I yeah, know. I'm, yeah. just, I'm just giving you, like, a, a... You know, if you do talk to someone else, if it comes up in conversation, like... That's not something someone would fake, you know? Unless we faked know. the whole your dad dying too, but that's I mean, that would be really why would we? What would we do to gain for that? You know, a lot of people are just kind of saying like they're just doing these bad things, and they're like the devil made me do it. I, it's, yeah, 
Yeah. So it's they think you're lying. Um, do you? Wanda has a meeting with Mr. Shaw tomorrow. Have you heard anything about that? No, I don't do anything with Wanda. She kind okay. of stays away from me now. Yeah, I yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I just didn't know if you heard of anything. Um, but okay, so most people think it's fake. Okay. How long has Wanda been there? Uh, I don't know. Longer than me. I mean, I'm new, though, so that's, everybody's longer than me. There. <laughs> yeah. Mm, okay. I think she might that's have been a... even longer than Brother Hibbert was. I'm not sure. Oh. Interesting. Do you think she'd be a demon? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Would... Wouldn't the Luminance know about that? I don't know. It's just that Spire, their boss before Mr. Shaw was a demon and no one knew, so now I'm a little we, paranoid. Oh. You have to get judged in order to be a, like, be a beacon eye or whatever, but so he... Yeah, he's not even judged. Hmm? Oh, they, oh is it only to do the... Right? Wait, hold on. Isn't it's, that... It's only I like the higher-ups you get. Yeah, the higher-ups higher get it. Sorry. Well, she is, but she's a higher-up, isn't she? Yeah, so she probably did, as far as I know. We yeah. should... Oh, yeah, well, not that anyone would answer us right now, but I would be curious to know if she did get judged or not. I can ask Brother she Hibbert and see be. if he knows. Oh, yeah! And ask Askia yeah, what he... What, like... I don't know. He has what he knows about her, in general. Mm -hmm. Do you guys think she's bad? I don't know. Maybe... Maybe not. She could just be normal and, like, Misguided. having the wrong idea. Like, a lot of people that have been doing bad things just don't understand what's happening, and they just do the thing, like, they think they're helping, but they're not. So it might just be one of those things. she's politicizing things, though. What? I think she's politicizing. Pol polit politicizing. What? She's using the situation to try and get power, I think. Or to sway oh. people's influence on us when it has nothing mm. to do with the mm. As okay. you guys are talking, you hear, <clears throat> and you just look over to the entryway, and there's a Beaconite standing there looking oh, no. at you guys. Uh, I gotta go. <laughs> Bye, Jeremy. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you for telling us all about the Beacon and, and Illuminates. You're doing yeah. your job real good. Uh, may the light shine on you all. Um, <laughs> he kind of like scampers off. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Jare Bear. Oh. Jare Bear! <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, we're gonna just kind of skip through a little bit of the rest of the day, if you guys don't mind. Um, mm -hmm. you guys head back over to Iron Fist. Uh, Carter is uh, not there currently. But after kind of waiting around a little bit, he eventually comes back and he has James with him and looks like they're kind of getting ready to move some stuff back in um, and just kind of reestablish the place. Uh, at which I was point... low-key worried he was going after Wanda for a second. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh, Carter! <laughs> Yikes. He really just kind of beat <laughs> her up. Like, Here you go, whatever. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> um, oh, no. You have an opportunity to give gold if you'd like to. To him. Yeah, to I would, like, help them move in as much as I could. Okay. And, uh, yeah. yeah, just try and help them get established. And how does James seem, by the way? Can I roll an insight or something? I yes, think. you may. Nine. Nine. Best you can tell, he seems just pretty happy to get settled back in. He's not really even paying much attention to anything else but getting stuff established. So. Okay. Um, but I will. Uh, when he has a second, I'll I'll like hand him just the full two hundred. Okay. And just be like, "This is for my dad." Just kind of. All right. Puts it away and goes back to work. <laughs> How do you 
remember that. Do you just write, like write it down, or do you all of it's all in your head? Yeah, I'll write it down later. Okay. I like turn to Carl. Like, make sure you write it down. It's just nuts. <laughs> <laughs> um. Do you, you have Brennan's gold to that, or are you just holding on to that? Oh right, no, it was two sixty eight something. 68. So sixty eight more on top of that. All yeah, right. I wasn't sure if you were like holding on to it, just using his to help get to the two hundred, which is fine. It just, it was just no, I was doing the whole thing this time. And after she'd handed it, she'd be like, "Thanks, Brian. I'll pay you back later." Hey, yeah, well, I've already given more gold than you know, so. What? <laughs> What do you mean? Oh, do you need help with that? He walks off and helps someone <laughs> move in. So yeah, some of the girls are starting to come back and your dad shows up and you're able to kind of just spend the night relaxing and hanging out with your dad and uh, moving stuff around, getting everything reestablished and sort of getting ready for like a, a reopening almost. Uh, hopefully tomorrow or the next day, sometime soon. Um, and... Yeah, that's how you start to spend the rest of your evening. Uh, as evening approaches, right, you get a phone call. Uh, it's your sister. Okay. And she just says, um, Hi, uh, so I got a meeting for you tomorrow. If you want, okay. it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. 3 o'clock, okay. Where is it? <clears throat> uh, they said to go just a little bit south of the beacon. Mm -hmm. And to just wait uh, in the road south of the beacon, they'll find you. Okay. All right. Are you going to be there or no? I don't know if you're coming to. No, I'm not invited. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, thank you. I really appreciate you giving me a meeting. I, uh, I think it's a start. It, it's giving me a little bit more hope that maybe we have some, we can get some traction. Because yeah, our occasions are not looking good. <laughs> so thank you. I uh, hope hopefully it goes well. Uh, and be safe. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, uh, I'll let you know how it goes, I guess. And yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for everything. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it's the yeah. most awkward sister conversation. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> They're um, so unlike yours and my conversation. I know. It always throws me off to like watch this sister interaction. Are you guys saying you guys aren't awkward with each other? We're so awkward. We're like I'm not talking 500 miles an hour. It's so perfect. No, it's three hour. It's three hour conversation of just awkward stammering. <laughs> and I, oh, sorry. Go, um, are you? Um, hi. 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 Um, it's I'm always fun go... to watch you guys like converse at the beginning of the game. Just like. Um, but yeah, anything else you guys would like to do the rest of the night? Um, where are you headed to go back to like bed down? I guess anything like that. I'm gonna go to my house. I haven't been home in a long time. That's been a while. Yeah. Been a while. What else lives there now? Yeah, like, uh... <laughs> yeah this is awkward. I walk in, I'm like, oh. My stuff's um, just gone. It's I mean, yeah, I would house. probably stay either in Spire or in um in the apartment just because i wanted to talk to val and see if she was okay. okay or at least be back up for ren to talk to val if he needs it or just be back up for ren in general you don't want to say that tonight back up for mr shaw i mean i want to but we already said i need to not be at home i thought that was before with calm and stuff i'm not risking him i want Sorry. to i miss i miss it but I think you'd be safe tonight, but yeah, it's fair. Every time we think that, though, it doesn't happen. Oh, so. 100%. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> See? But we haven't used our spells a lot today, so they won't attack today. <laughs> We're too powerful. They met a game to know when to attack, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> Just saying, I've always been out of spells every time they attack. <laughs> yeah, no, so I, I won't. I'm, I'll, I'll stay if you don't care anyway. Okay, so rise to her house. Karis, where did you say? Which one did you land on? I'm going to Spire. Spire. Sleeping at Spire. Renan? Yeah, Spire to check on Val, and then if Val's 
real upset, I'll probably go stay at the apartment just to give them space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she well, actually, actually no, I'll, I'll stay at Spire because I, I wanted to talk to Alasha and maybe potentially even like see if Alasha would talk to Munel. So I'll just okay. give her a lot of space if need be. Yeah, your sister still is pretty upset, um, and just needs some space. It seems like. Um, yeah. And I guess you, you pray that evening as well. Connect with Alasha and um, any specific questions? Like she said, she'll uh, say. Yeah, you... why do they not remember what happened? Do you remember what okay. happened? Okay. You go into the dream sequence and you find that can happen next game if you want. Alasha. No, we'll end with this. We'll end with this. With everyone kind of going to their spots and we'll end here uh, with you having your dream and it just kind of meets you in the dream. Uh, Hi, Renan. Uh, good to see you. Hi. Um, yeah. Uh, so two things. Would you maybe like to meet the Moon Elves at some point? Kind of like, I guess, Grothgor met Sabrilira, just to kind of like give him hope and stuff and show that you're back. And also, the rune thing happened, right? Like, do you, I don't know, do you, did you, can you see what happens? They don't remember me destroying it, but like, it, it happened, right? Um, I don't know if you were there. I don't know if you can know that or not, but I do mean, you ever see like everything I'm doing? I, that's there for like, a lot of some stuff that you do, but I mean, that chamber was a room I was just trying to even channel my power into. I couldn't really present, my, or present myself there. So That's I'm fair. not aware of what happened there. I don't remember it. I'm almost certain it happened. Well, don't, don't doubt yourself. It. Yeah. No, I know. Eventually, I want to talk to Gwynestri, but. But yes, I will work on trying to establish a connection with Ratha and the rest of the Moon Elves, and I'll try as well. Is there anything you need from me? I know you said you were worried about the church last time. Uh, just keep doing what you're doing. I am going to keep trying to heal this land and figure out why I feel so weird about it. Yeah. I feel you too. Okay. Thank you. But yes, be safe. And she'll depart from you. Um... But yeah, we will uh, ha that end kind of with you guys all getting your rests and going into the next day um, and anticipating a day of meetings, apparently. That's kind of <laughs> the direction that it looks like it's going in. For... It's a career-oriented ultimate D&D uh, &D material right here. It's a Monday morning. It's the meeting day. Even though everyone says don't plan meetings on Monday, they do it anyways. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, Should I make a presentation? <laughs> like a PowerPoint of why we PowerPoint! Don't... We rent out a conference room at, uh, at yes. the fire. We get you know, <laughs> snacks and stuff. But yeah, we'll pick up there the next next week. Uh, next week will be our last session of 2021. So, uh, you don't want that! I know. We're going to be on break for a couple weeks uh, for Christmas and holidays. So... Um, but we'll be back the first week in January, so you can look forward to that. It will go quickly, uh, and we'll have a lot of fun. Um, there may be some streams on Sundays during the break, just not Beacon Zora. Uh, we'll see how things go. Yeah. But uh, we're looking forward to that. And shortly after we start back up in January, Literary DMs, Winds of Calamity, Legend of Zelda-inspired D&D &D game will be starting up, so look forward to that as well. Um, but and then We've missed a lot of fates, so we'll probably be doing a lot of fates to, in between the gap as well, so you guys can watch that. Sweet. So some fates as well. There's Literary DMs YouTube channel uh, there you can click on in the chat, so go subscribe to him on YouTube. It's free, and I recommend it. And, um, yeah, thank you for being here, YouTube people. We're going to sign off on YouTube yeah. here, so thank you. Uh, goodbye. We'll see you soon.